Welcome to Sewing Street. I'm John Cole Morgan and it's Block of the Week. I am so, so excited. Sorry it's taken an extra week, but look, isn't it amazing? Sorry, I'm very, very proud of this. Very, very excited. So I'll calm down now. I've done it. Welcome, you're our lovely little early birds. So we have got the most phenomenal early bird special. We've got 404 and 505. So a lot of you have used this before. So I'll just recap what each one is. 404, if you're doing any form of applique and you just want to make your fabric that little bit tacky that you can put it down, pick it up, move it around, replace it. This is what you're looking for. 404, fabulous, fabulous product to be able to do that. So you can reposition your fabric as you like, completely adhesive, you hold it down. You can then do your uh, free motion quilting around it. You can do your zigzag stitch, your blanket stitch. You can do however you want to do that. Really, really fabulous. But not only are you getting 404, you're also getting the 505. Now 505 is fantastic if you're wanting to baste quilts. You can adhere all three of your layers, your backing, your top and your wadding using this and then it completely washes out, no residue whatsoever. And both of these are a 250 mil tin and these are together today £12.98 you're going to be saving three pounds compared to what you normally pay. And anybody who's used them before knows they last ages. My bottle of 505, I've had about four years and I've still not finished using it. They just need that tiny little bit of spray and it's so, so effective. Make sure you're using it in a well-ventilated room, please. Make sure you're doing that, keep yourself safe. But just such a great, great deal, really fabulous product. And anybody who's used them before, you know full well how great they are. They're really, really good. And the 404 is for the temporary putting down for a Plique. It works with absolutely everything for papers, it works for drawing paper, plastic, any form of tissue paper, and then with the 505 that works with everything as well. The patterns, uh, it works with patterns, with felt, with jeans, stabilizer, any form of patchwork for ribbons, any form of um, tissue as well. So this works really, really well. And when you want to get rid of it, once you finish your project, you just pop it through the washing machine, there is no trace of it left whatsoever. Really, really great products, these $12.98. If you do get these this morning, then don't forget you've then paid your $3.95 postage and packaging for the day. You only get charged your one PNP all day, won't pay any more once you bought your early bird. That means everything else for the rest of the day is free. But I am going to just do this. I am so getting into trouble for this, but look at this, the Quilters Edition. We have got this fabulous little box from Oracle, and I'm not allowed to be doing this, but look, 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 look. So, okay, I'm being told I have to put it away now. So there we go. If you want to look at it, go and look on our website, www.sewingstreet.com. Make sure you watch the 11 o'clock hour. It's Fabulous. So an exclusive, exclusive. We love exclusive. But now I'm going to just tell you exactly the best way of being able to shop with us today. The and to, oh, sorry, getting in touch with us. First of all, if you want to get in touch with us, we've got our Sewing Street Studio email address. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Um, then it's the best way of doing that. Otherwise, if you'd like to get in touch with us on our Facebook page, Facebook TV is the best route to do that. Um, the, the page on Facebook is called Sewing Street TV. We've got a message option on there, so you can easily then just drop us a line, and we love hearing from you. We've got the lovely Alison back in today, Alison Marion, so do drop us a line. We'd love to hear from you. Any questions you've got maybe about that gorgeous apron she did the last time we were on with me, or any of the things she's doing today, drop us a line, and she's here. She can answer any questions that you have. But coming up today, as I mentioned, we've got Alison, so let me show you what you're getting. I'm going to start off, this is Debbie Shaw's book. It is so cute, really, really sweet. Quilted covers and cozies, such beautiful, beautiful things in here. I can show you some of the projects that we've got in here. Absolutely. There's our Debbie. Look at Debbie. So lovely, and she doesn't seem to age. She's so, so magnanimous in that way, love it. Now we've got all the, so Debbie, what she does with her books, they're really, really great, because what you do is you get your lovely introduction, and then you get what materials and equipments you're gonna need, and tells you a bit more about what you're gonna need, and the best products to get, and how to do, uh, to be, what you need to be able to make these projects. And then it gives you some basic, we're going to be able to do these basic techniques to be able to use for the projects. Shows you some bias binding and binding. And then you actually start with the projects. Does it say how many projects you're getting on this? But they're just so adorable. And Alison's made some of these today, which I'm so excited. 
Let me grab those. Let me just do this. I think this is going to work better when I've got the demo. Now watch me take these all out and damage the set completely. Sorry, Alison, the quilts took place today. We forgot to get your little bits out beforehand. But these are so adorable. Look at this gorgeous tea cozy. Loving that. You've got the tea cozy. You've got the cafetiere wrap. Isn't it just cool? And they're huge. They're really good. And then we've got this is the, the mug hug that we just shown you here in the picture here. So this is the mug hug right there. And just look how cute that is. And I'm adoring these fabrics, absolutely loving the fabrics. Um, and then we've got all the different projects in here as well. So it's not just those. You've also got that, which is an egg cover for um, a boiled egg. I love it. Alison's standing there. She's looking, Alison's across the room from me and she's saying, turn the page. And there we go. I love it. I love having Alison in the studio. So you make this gorgeous egg cozy as well. Really, really adorable. And the great thing with this, I'm guessing you can extend it for the height of your egg cups as well. And you got the, oh, I love that. Look at that caravan toaster cover. Oh, I can see a project in my future. That is so cute. Loving that. And then you've got the the coffee cover, the coffee cozy, the bird coffee cozy here. And I think what works so well with this is these gorgeous fabrics that Alison's used work so well to bring these little designs to life. Loving that. So this is all the different projects you can get in the book. There's that gorgeous umbrella tea cozy. Love this. Now we've got bundles that go with this and what I loved about the bundles is Alison's very, very good with these. She's been able to make all of these samples out of the bundle. She's still got left over. She's still made other bits and bobs as well, which she's going to talk to you about after the, when she does a demonstration. But look at, oh my goodness, look at the flower tea cozy as well. Oh, Debbie is so good. Hot water bottle cover. Oh, a tablet sleeve. Oh, that's adorable. Phone cover. Oh, a bottle cozy. I can see me taking my gin on a walk with that. Little tissue box cover. That is very sweet. And the great thing with this is if you redecorate your bathroom or you just have your plain white bathroom, that can be your color in the room. My bathroom's all white and black. Be nice having a little pop of color in there. Oh, wow, that's the, sorry, I skipped a page. The toilet bowl cover, I love that. Oh, I always remember my granny and made me one, she knitted me one, which I thought was very sweet. I'm sure somebody may have a toilet roll left over or two. There you go, you can cover them as decorations in your living room. Chair back, oh, I love that, because sometimes you do need, a, if you sit, because I sit in my chair for hours and hours, it's really good to have some support on the back there. That's lovely. Oh, a sewing machine cover with spaces for rulers. You know, that's what I love about Debbie. She's got these incredible ideas, and she adapts them to make be incredibly useful for things that you, you would actually use and need. Straightener covers. You see, I just assume that Debbie has a professional come and do her hair every day, so she doesn't need any of these. I just assume that. And then you've got all your gorgeous templates at the back. I love this. What such a lovely, lovely book there. And that's for $7.99 today. What a great deal and a great price on that. Now, let me just show you, I mentioned about the bundles. So what we're going to do now, so as I said, the bundles made all of those. You made the tea cozy, the egg cup, the cafetiere cover, and the, uh, the cup cozy. You made all of those out of these bundles. You need a ruler, it's under here. Because <laughs> we all move things around the set and then no one can find them. Now this bundle is exceptional. Just look at this. So you're getting not only your fabric, I'll start with the fabric. You're getting a half meter of these. Oh, I love these little cocktail sticks. They're really lovely. Then you're getting a half meter, is that beige? And then you're getting a half meter of this lovely spot. Half a meter of that, but you're also getting this enormous, and I'm going to show you just how much of that. Look at that. You're getting a meter of your Thermalan. I'm holding it the wrong way around. So it's a meter of your Thermalan. Thermalan. Oh my gosh, it's a huge amount. So you're getting a meter and a half of fabric, a meter of your Thermalan, and that's $17.99. 
that is such a great price. And it's a nice way of being able to, I'm a beginner with things like this. And I look at this book and I think, oh my goodness, that is so inspiring. I love these little makes, but it's something that I think, because it's such a great price and we know the quality of these is so good, you can be able to get these very, very easily. And we've been able to match the colors up perfectly. You can just see with those colors there, with the, the blue that you've got there ties in perfectly, the beige, it's absolutely beautiful. It's lovely. Oh, so the beige we've used as the lining, I think. Love it. So that's our first bundle there, $17.99. Let me show you the second bundle. So this is the one Alison's going to be doing her demo in, which I love this colorway. Look at that. So again, you're getting a meter of the Thermalan. You're getting half a meter of the teal dot, half a meter of the beige, and you're also getting half a meter of this. I'm actually going to open this up so I can show you exactly what half a meter looks like on it. Because look at that. I love these, and I think these cocktail sticks are absolutely adorable. Nice little pops of color as well, which just bring a little bit of fun. You can just see this little umbrella there. Sorry, just in this little umbrella there. Doesn't that just look really fun and exciting? It just brings a smile to my face every time I see it. I think it's great. So that's in the gray, so that's how much fabric you're getting with each of them. So this is our tur gray and turquoise. Um, Tea Cozy Bird Coffee Cozy Bundle. Meter of your Thermaland, half a meter of each of the fabrics. That's for $17.99. And then the last colorway that we've got is the, the gray cocktail sticks, the beige fabric, and then this beautiful blue dot as well. You can see all of those go together. So you're getting a half a meter of each of these fabrics, a meter of the Thermalan, and that's again $17.99. Such a great, great price for those great great deal so i'm just going to give you all a little video now while we safely get allison on the set and we'll be right back shopping with us couldn't be easier if you want to shop online then you can head to our website www.sewingstreet.com it will redirect you to our sister channel jewelry makers landing page don't worry you haven't gone to the wrong place we're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show you can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Welcome back. I'm John Cole Morgan, and this is the fabulous Hi. Alison Marion. I was going to say Alison Marion, and it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I was going to say Alison Marilyn. Sorry. Alison Marion. Lovely to have you back. <laughs> you look phenomenal, and you can't really see the shoes today, but her shoes are the brightest pink I've ever seen. They are gorgeous. <laughs> Definitely really good. She puts me to shame. My shoes don't match my top. Your slippers. Shh. <laughs> Shall I show? It's very homely. See, I've got my, I've got these lovely pair of slippers. <laughs> I wear slippers because I you're standing for so long. <laughs> Why can't you be comfortable? Yeah. Wonderful. So lovely to have you back. Thank in you case very anybody much. hasn't seen you before, tell us a little bit about you. Um, well, I live in the Staffordshire Moorlands, and I run a couple of sewing groups there. I've been sewing most of my life. Mm -hmm. Um, in various forms, dressmaking, and then I went on to quilting, um, and now I do everything. <laughs> We're glad Just you do. It. <laughs> We're glad you do. Yeah. So it's lovely to have you here Thank today. You. What are you making for us today? Well, I've got this book of Debbie's, and it's got so many lovely little projects in that um, 
I was actually asked to do the tea cosy and the cafetiere mm. using this lovely Lewis and Irene fabric. They're really lovely, aren't they? Yeah, I can remember my parents having cocktail stirrers like this. I can't remember them having cocktails, but I can remember <laughs> cocktail stirrers. I went and bought one of these. It became such a big thing that, you know, the old vintage bars yeah. that you used to get, which were those enormous dresses. There was, seems to be a little resurgence of them. And I, as a joke, I bought one for a friend for his birthday. Yeah. And it's enormous. It was about two metres long by one. And they oh, all had the original. <laughs> original cocktail sticks on the actual yeah. side you flip the yeah. board up They're yeah, I can remember though. them but um, there's there's so much fabric in in the pack and the thermalan I've I've done all of the projects um, using the one piece of thermalan so that's oh, wow. both sets so you're going to have lots of that left over and because it's I know you and Kerry were doing the bowl cozies and you yes. were talking about the microwave yesterday because they haven't got the metal in them, like, um, what's uh, the other one called? Insulbright. That's it, Insulbright. You can actually put it in the microwave. Wonderful. And um, I didn't actually use any adhesive. Debbie um, in the book says about using a spray adhesive, and I'd run out. So I didn't have we any. We have a great early bird, if you're interested. Fabulous. I'm <laughs> going to take some. <laughs> but the um, Thermalan, it, it kind of holds the fabric itself in place. So... If you haven't got any of the 505, if you want to do your project before it arrives. <laughs> you worded that beautifully, <laughs> darling. Well done. <laughs> so, yes, that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you the tea cosy. Um, Debbie's book is really um, easy to follow. There isn't actually a template for the tea cosy because obviously everybody's um, teapot is a different size. So mm -hmm. what she says is to measure your teapot um, both directions and then add two inches to the sizes and then use a dinner plate to make your round top oh, brilliant. so you've got that now that isn't big enough for my teapot it's the right height but it needs to be bigger so all I did was I split it down the middle oh, that's so and just extended it so I've still got the curve that's so, so that's clever. how I got the size that I needed for my teapot See, that's what I love about the demos that we do. You've made them, you've seen a problem, you've found a solution, yeah. and it is so simple. Yeah. So um, when you've done that, it's, it's a case of cutting out your spot and your um, pattern that you're going to use. I'll put that out of the way. That's the lining. We don't need that at the moment. And I did use some Bonderweb on this part here on the handle. Uh -huh. um, I've already done this. So um, the bond <coughs> web and then satin stitched all the way around the outside. So that you're doing that through your two layers, through your cotton layer and your thermalan layer. You're st satin stitching all the way through both. Okay. Yeah. So you're stitching. So have you just got a, an outline of an umbrella? Oh, I love that. It's cute. Isn't it's got it? a J on it. Yeah. <laughs> and if you notice, <laughs> I did turn the template on one of them. So are they going in opposite no, no, directions? No, no, I love that because if you look at it, no, I love that because it's the symmetry, it'll be the yeah. right way around. So that's, um, oh, if I put that one there, that's the one that we're going to work on. Now, when you're doing your, your um, umbrella piece, oh, I'll do it that way around, look, and I'll move along a little bit. There we go. When you're doing your umbrella piece, it's tempting just to cut out <coughs> your lining piece and then sew around but if you look at this shape you've actually got a lot of bias edges there ah. so it would tend to stretch because you're not putting any um, support in there you're not um, interfacing or bonder webbing so what I did was I left my piece of fabric flat so that when you're sewing round you've got the support <gasps> of that full piece of fabric. You haven't got oh, the bias a edge. Clever idea. And if you're a little unsure of your sewing line, you can then use a either a friction pen or a pencil. You're going to turn it inside out, so it doesn't matter. You can use a pencil. But I've got a friction pen there, and I've just drawn my <coughs> stitching line. So I'll turn that and pin it in. And then I'll just go and sew around the outside. You do want to pin it quite a lot because you don't want it moving. Because it's right side to right side, you don't want to use any 
glues or anything. Right, so there we go. What stitch Would you fix press that if you needed to? Actually, you could, yes. Would you yeah. like to? And I would, why not? I was going to... Um, I've to hidden the bits press over here because <laughs> I use it so it's often. <laughs> um, oh, I've got my pins in now. I'll do it that side. Oh, I'll switch it on. I actually best pressed it the other side after I'd finished it, so I didn't think about doing it beforehand. So, for... so yes, that will give it some support, won't it? It does. The other day when there I had um, Sarah Bolam on, every time she turned around, I was squirting yeah. another thing of this preset. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So now I'll just sew around that. Oh, good job I am happy using my quarter of an inch. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it was my friction pen. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> The right. other day I did a demo Oops. with the one that you remove with water and I didn't realise that if you ironed it... I don't it, want it, became, it on your fast. <laughs> I didn't realise if you ironed a water erasable one it became permanent. Ooh. Yeah. But that's how we learn. It is. I think we've all been there, haven't we? we? Have. Just not everybody doing it live on telly. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going slowly. I'm not going absolutely crazy. Going nice and slowly well, and then stopping rush. and turning so that you get a nice shape. And then when I get to the bottom, I'm going to take one stitch across. I love that tip that you up. gave us the last time you were on doing that one stitch in the corner. I just find so it's clever. easier. Yeah, I just find it's easier to uh, turn things through then. It's funny. I'm feel at home standing up sewing because I sew, we've got a narrowboat and I sew quite a lot on there and I stand I sewing you. up on there. A friend of mine had a narrowboat and she loved living on there, it's such a great way of life. Oh we only do, we're fair weather sailors, <laughs> we don't, uh, don't go out if we can help it in the bad weather, obviously if you're away you have to but uh, yeah, more up if it's not good weather. It's not safe actually if you're uh, doing locks and things like that in bad weather. Oh, of course. I'm just looking at that block of the week behind you. It really pops. Beautiful. I'm very tempted. Oh, do it. Yeah, I didn't and it's do it. Such your... a great price yeah, this time around. I didn't round. do it, and I th uh, the last one that you did. And I was quite disappointed as I saw them all coming together. Well, you can, I mean, I've done you can do it all. They've still got the bundles on the website. Yeah. But I think buying it week by week encourages you yeah. to actually get that block done so that you're free to do the one the following week. Well, you see, I made the decision right. this year I was going to have no unfinished projects. <laughs> <laughs> well, just the ones that's that like, I started this like year. That's like not buying any fabric. Yeah, I had that rule. <laughs> I lasted a whole nine days. Right, I'm taking pinking shears now. Rather than clipping in, I'm going to pink it so that we haven't got to worry about clipping into the edges. That's a very good tip. Well, it does away with a lot of the bulk as well when you're turning. Okay. They're really great little pinking shears, those, yeah. aren't they? They're sharp nice right to the end. Nice, good, sturdy yeah. handle. Yeah, they cut right to the end, which is good. So if, we're, if you do need some um, pinking go. shears, the details, the ones They're that Alison nice. are using at the moment, they are very good as mm. well. I like a nice sturdy pair of scissors that you can actually yeah. feel that you're using them. Right, so now, now I'm, I'm intrigued. There we are, we're going to turn that through. Oh, that's so clever. Now I'm going to take, I keep one of these, I see Jenny when she was doing her demo for the um, 
Do you know what it's I love? Dressmaking. Not not only do you come on and demonstrate, but the fact that you watch everybody else's demos as well. <laughs> yeah. That is wonderful. Because I I'll find that as well. Quite I keep as watching much. Vicky and Debs <laughs> trying to work out how I can do it better. Because <laughs> they're so fabulous. But I love the fact that you can watch those yeah. as well. So what was her tip? One of these great big yes. chunky pins. I mean, they're really good for fleece and jersey and things like that because they're not that sharp. Yep. Um, they're no good really for cotton because they uh. don't split. But you can take them. And they're quite strong, so you won't bend it. If you were trying to do this with a little glass-headed pin, you'd probably um, bend the pin. So I'm, I'm just getting the point out. That's a very clever tip. So you get the gist. It's over there. So now I'll just press that down. Whoops. All right. This is the best press moment. <laughs> there you go. It's right next to you. I do prefer the scented one personally. I love that gorgeous. I've got, is it linen I've got? Oh, have you got the linen one? Yeah. I do love the lavender one. Yeah, someone was saying you could use that on your pillows and that would, you know, oh, for right. if you have trouble sleeping. Because it's a not overpowering. Idea. Yeah, it just leaves a gentle scent. That's I, a really I would good actually idea. take a little bit well, more do time it. doing take that. Take it. That's right. We've seen how you work. It's only going to take a minute. No, it's all right. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so now I'm going to bring this one over. So you've not used any adhesive there. You've just simply put the thermal no, on it. This, yeah, it's kind of got a... It's got a tacky... It, it has, yes. It's not an adhesive that you use with the iron, like um, some of them. Scissors. Yes, sure. I'm going to cut I around I haven't touched the, those ones. I'll um, sanitise when I... There's a Go bottle during over the there break, for you. yeah. There's one right there. How are you finding your second demonstration? A lot less stressful than you the first. You were so good I the was last so time. Nervous. You did so well. <laughs> oh, I'm going to start shaking now. No, I'm you're not. Don't do that. No, you mustn't. You were so good. <laughs> I hope when you watched it back, you saw how good you were. Well, I thought, oh, goodness, thank goodness I didn't look as nervous as I felt. <laughs> oh, no, and you I, mustn't have. You were so I felt good. for Kerry, another, I watched that. Mm. I felt for Kerry when the machine went on her show when she was uh, in the week. So, right, what we're doing now is we're just going to place that up on the top and we're going to sew quite closely round the edge. So now, are you I'll doing just a straight again. stitch of these? Yeah. Perfect. You don't need to satin stitch or anything because Perfect. you're going to just leave this in But you place. are just putting a couple of pins in just to keep Just to it hold it in place. Perfect. Make sure that I've got it. So the right lining place. the top up is a little more important? Yes, because when you put the... Um, the, the two together, sides together. Sides together. You want to make sure that this is caught in when up. you turn it round. Perfect. When you turn it through. So I'll just put those ones in there. I'll tell you what I did use. I don't know whether... I know Sewing Quarter used to have them. I don't know whether they're on the website now. I found very handy, since I did the... Um, the free motion, mm -hmm. I've got a pair of gloves, you know, the gloves oh, with fabulous. the rubberized tips on the fingers. Yes, we have the got fingers. those, the quilting gloves, we have had them, they're brilliant, I used aren't them they? for this as well, they're because really this, good. this can drag a little bit on the plastic oh, okay. of the Would machine. Would you need a walking foot? I, no, I didn't use a walking foot, no, it's not yep. this fabric, They are it's definitely on the website bit. as well, because I know I've, yeah. I've demoed them a few times, they're lovely little gloves, those. And it's interesting that you don't use them for quilting, you use them for projects like this, which I love. Because yeah. when people buy well, things, I want them to be able to use them more than just the once. The trouble is with me, my quilting, I prefer hand finishing. That's brilliant, though. I love hand finishing. I like hand quilting, you mm. know, actually the finished project, rather than machine quilting. So um, I would tend not to need those gloves for that. But for the free motion, they're absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. So I'm just going as close. You take your time. I know I must be admiring your demo, but I can't stop looking at that quilt behind you. <laughs> it's it's beautiful. lovely, isn't it? Sorry. Really, really vibrant. But it's colours. so bright. It's brilliant. And look at this. I know. And I'm so cake. excited about that love block. Do you want to come and demo it? <laughs> 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 You're so good. You come and demo it. <laughs> Your applique is a lot better than mine. I love applique. I think out of everything, I mean, I love dressmaking and, and things like that, but I do. I just think you can do so much with applique. 
have you seen all these incredible BK Block of the Months coming out for, for making quilts? No. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> they're coming. It's a plan. But I've taken that over quite a bit there. So what's your favourite thing to sew if you're not making things for us or doing dressmaking and things? Um, what have I got in my room at the moment? I've been making lots of aprons, to be honest. Your um, aprons are gorgeous. That, I'm so glad I got to get one of those patterns. I was so thrilled. Yeah, it. Uh, I just like, and I'm hopefully going to try and do a Christmas pocket next. <gasps> Um, so, <laughs> Christmas puddings, here, eat your heart out. <laughs> Take all my money. <laughs> so, right, now, to do the, actually, I didn't explain that to do the shape of the brolly, you just cut down your tea cosy shape, fold it into four, and then this is the, a mug. Oh, perfect. That's a mug down there that made that shape. So that's how that one came about. Now, you could, if you want to, do this next bit by eye, and I tried it. And this isn't very nice to unpick, because I unpicked it, because I didn't like it. Because I do like things to be the same. So you're going to put a, a straight line up the middle, and then you're going to top stitch here to give you the shape of the brolly. Oh, I think that's beautiful. So I did decide in the end to make myself a little template. So if I... And, and it also means that it meets well. up at the top. I think all the pins pen. are down the side there. Oh no, they're not. They're just, if you slide the quilt slightly over, there's a little basket there. Okay, a little friction pen and then it'll... Thing. So it doesn't have to be exact, but, you know, if you do it freehand, it, it's, a lot it's more quite noticeable. Than it yeah, it's quite noticeable if you go wrong. I heard go. a brilliant tip from somebody once. And then we'll go down the if you're wanting to draw it, turn it round. So that little line, you was the line closest to me. If you rotate your tea cosy now, 180 degrees, yeah. you can then do the line much oh, clearer. Right, doing yes. that one. There we go. So this is just top stitching. And you're using the same thread that you've done your satin stitch yeah. and everything. Um, with. on that one, I did do a dark thread to I make it stand that. out more. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I've been um, you can just I've see been the sewing this one with grey, so through there. I'll I'll carry on with the grey for Please, this one. Yes. But, but yeah, that one I did more obvious. But looking at that one, you can still. <laughs> <laughs> It had to, didn't it? It had to be it done. Had to. Was it Billy Connolly who said you can never trust a man if you leave him alone with a tea cosy that he doesn't try it on? They're brilliant. Um, that's it. We don't trust you, John. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I can go a bit faster than that. You go as fast as you like. You're not in any rush. Oh, there we go. Look at that. So okay, we're just, just moving on. it slowly. See she going to an arc. Love it. Do this one, didn't you? Alison, and I'm doing them all from the bottom upwards. Your threads come loose on the bottom at the top of your needle, at the, at the top bit. So if you just oh, got, out of the yeah, out of the little slot at the top there. There we go. Yes, I don't want machine issues this time. <laughs> there we go. And you're off. I don't need to worry about the the pen because I'm going to um, press it all through afterwards. So now we're just going to let's take those off. Put the two right side to right side. So when do you put the lining on? That comes in a minute. Oh, so you're jumping ahead. <laughs> So we're just going to join these together and we'll pin them. Have we got clips? Um, I just have half a dozen. Have you got? I just take half a dozen oh, away. And then you, Sorry, yeah. I thought they were in the cupboard. And then you don't have Sorry. to use the same ones. So. so we'll join that up at the top. Down both 
both sides. Right, I'm just going to trim that off because that's a little bit, and that'll affect my line of stitching as I go round. But that's the good thing about doing what you're doing now, is if anything's out. Now, would you turn it round and check the other side yes, as well? Like Perfect. That. So that'll be fine because I can take that through. So now I'm going to go all the way around the outside edge. See, I love these Wonder Clips. If you haven't got any and you want any, the graphics on the screen now are for our lovely Wonder Clips. They're perfect for this sort of Fabulous, thing. Fabulous, aren't they? Um, I did try them on dressmaking and I, I found them a bit heavy for my dressmaking because I was using a, quite a lightweight fabric. Mm -hmm. But for this sort of thing, I love them. But I'm a bit old school with my pins, you know. I suppose it's how you learn and what you get used to making a change. So what we're off a little bit. seam are you doing at the moment? Is that about a half an inch or a quarter of an inch? It's a quarter of an inch Perfect. in the book, but I think uh, I've got the needle in the centre position here, haven't I? That's it about should three be over, yeah. yeah. Before I turn it, I will just check that all the hmm. all the seams are well, together. Well, I'm hearing the yellow colourway is the one that's in the lead at the oh, moment. Oh, really? Lovely. I just I think it's fabulous. Why. It's so and it's fun. lovely fabric to work with. It really is, but it just brightens up your kitchen, doesn't it? Yeah. My old kitchen all used to be completely yellow. Loved that. Right. It was very sunny. Every time you walked in, it felt like yeah. the sun was in your house. Oh, that's a bit thick for that. <laughs> So I'll have to clip this one. It doesn't need a lot of a clip, but I'll just take off the, the thick bit. Because the uh, lining is going to sit up inside, so you don't want too much. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to clip around on the corners. What have we got? So if you could get your pinking shears through that, you'd I'd be have fine gone on through, that one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to turn that one through. It's such a nice project as well. It's lovely, isn't it? Oh, I love it. And the this finish. is so our house because my husband drinks tea, I drink coffee. <laughs> Wonderful. So, so I have to make both. Actually, the same in my house. Yeah, my husband to loves make... tea over coffee as yeah. well. So there we go. That's that one. So that's the outside. Oh, that's wonderful. Finished. I'll just press that because I've got that. Uh, that friction, see, friction pen on there. But do you see what I love as well? Is that every single one of these kits, you, as you've said, you've got, you've got loads left over. You can then actually go and make other projects included in the kitchen. Yeah. You've got all these and they all coordinate so beautifully. It just adds that little finish to your house. Oh, I think that's wonderful. That's a novelty for me because I've got a sewing room away from my house. I don't have steam because I worry about the damp in my fabric. So oh, it's right. <laughs> nice for me to have steam there. So I'm just going to trim. See, I'm paranoid about that. I've got a dehumidifier. I've got a dehumidifier that I put on in the winter. Yeah. yeah. No, I run it at least once a week. Oh, do you? It's horrifying how much. Well, I think it's free water. So all the yes. water that comes out the air yes. I use in my in iron. iron. Yes. <laughs> and then the dehumidifier catches it <laughs> the next week. <laughs> right. Where did I put that? There it is. This is your lining. So you make your lining the same as you did your outer. Now, did you use your template for that, or did you yes. use your finished, or you yeah, couldn't no, use your finished one? Yeah, no, I used the template for that, so that's the same there. And you don't turn this one, this just tucks up inside. I have trimmed that, you can see there, look, I have trimmed that back already mm -hmm. with pinking shears, so that there's not too much bulk. So that... Is it that simple? It's that simple. Oh, that is brilliant. So those two go together. We'll match up the Oh, I see what seams. you've done. I'm jumping ahead, obviously. I always do. Oh, yes. That's so to clever. Put that in. I've forgotten to put that oh, in. Oh, you're fine. No one will notice. <laughs> yes. Before you sew it... No, no. Let them buy the book to find no. the arrow. <laughs> yeah. You put a little hoop in. <laughs> There's no arrow. It's fine. <laughs> So then we're going to just pin this 
get there. Because the Thermaland's quite, not sticky, but it grabs the fabric. <laughs> <laughs> it's got my it's got my initial on it look it's oh, it jerry has. it does <laughs> you need one for when it's raining yes true <laughs> you realize i'm probably going to have to take that home with me yeah <laughs> so there we go that's the lining and then to finish off the bottom you take a two and a half inch strip. Now, you can do a bias strip if you want, but because we aren't going around any curves, it doesn't really need to be no. bias. Um, and when you're cutting out a bias strip across a piece of fabric, you waste quite a lot of fabric. Of course. So, um, are there? I don't think there are any other projects that I did bias on. No. I just did the. They all look flat and yeah. straight on that one. But what I did do with this, because obviously with a bias one, you can put both edges and sew. Yes. But with this one, I did it like a, I've put the pins on the wrong side, like a quilt binding. So I'm gonna actually sew this. Oh, did you also send it to Sylvia to finish off? <laughs> I need your Sylvia. Oh, she's amazing. <laughs> Cause I love piecing, but it's, you know, it, how many people have got tops unfinished? I think I counted. I've got 107 tops. <gasps> oh my goodness! And that was before I started. It's a good working. job you've got a studio. <laughs> well, I, I yeah, I've, I love telling people I got evicted from my house, yeah. being able to get them all out. <laughs> yeah. But so it's astonishing how quickly you build up quilt tops. It is, here. yeah. Well, they do say, don't they, that it's two different hobbies: collecting mm. fabric and actually using it. Completely, well, it's like stamp collectors. <laughs> it <Yeah>. is. <laughs> Right, so now, can I take this off? Does this just slide off? Ah, yes. Oh, that's a good idea. Right, I'm gonna fold that over. You can actually do a, a proper fold on there and, and sew it at the end, but that takes a little bit more time. Right, now how do I get the so if you need to move the needle inch. over, Where's the quarter of an do you inch? see what it says 3.5 on your machine? Yes. You see the plus just underneath the 3.5? Yep. Press that up until you get to 5.5. And now if you line the edge of your foot up with the edge of the fabric, yep. you are at a quarter of an inch. There we go. Perfect. Can you tell that that's like the machine I use yeah. in the studio? <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep that back there. I could do with more pins really, but we'll keep going. I think you've got about 10 minutes left on your demo, so oh, there's no fine. rush. That's fine, yeah. You can bind a whole quilt in that time, I could, can't yes, you? or Sylvia could. <laughs> Sylvia's on holiday at the moment. She needed a week off, apparently. You keep her working too busy, do you? She's retired. Oh. Her husband keeps reminding her, you are retired, you, are retired. you know this. <laughs> Let that man quilt his own quilt. Oh, no. <laughs> be lost without her. It's a standing joke at the moment that Sylvia runs the place and I just work there. Yeah. Oh, it's lovely though. It, it sounds like a lovely environment to work in. Well, it's all, I'm very, very lucky because I've got most of my sewing ladies are in their 60s and 70s. Most of them are grannies. Yeah. And they're just the most wonderful, wonderful people. But I think society for some reason has this notion that women become invisible at a certain yeah. age. And I think that's so horrible. Not ho It's just the way society is sometimes and everybody gets so busy. And I am so lucky to be able to spend my time with these yeah. incredible women. Yeah. Well, when I, um, when I first joined, I, when I was in Cornwall, I was a member of three quilting groups. Mm. Cornwall's got a and, really strong quilting oh, community, yes, doesn't it? Yeah. And um, we used to do displays and things in, in churches and things. Hi, if there's anyone from Gate Quilters and Vestry <laughs> Quilters. <laughs> um, so it was a, bit, a case of me joining them and... The, the teaching and the sharing between it all, because mm. I'd never quilted before, I'd only done dressmaking. So it was really lovely to, oh, you know, the sharing. Jeez. Yeah. Right. Right, there we go. 
go. Now, if you get to quilt that whole thing at the bottom, finish the binding, you'll be doing all my binding going forward. Well, I won't be doing your binding <laughs> because I like hand finishing. If you look at that one... It is hand finished, yeah. I know. Yeah, I, you can go over, can't you, and, and stitch in the ditch. No, I'd rather hand quilt that. But so I, I'd rather I, Sylvia hand yeah, quilt it myself. I really do prefer it does give it a, a hand finish. finish, yeah. And I also, what I also did was I pulled this through and just did a, a few little tacks around so that the lining... Because <laughs> I noticed that yeah. myself. I was so looking at it when you said that up. it was free. I was like, but it's stuck. Yeah. And she's just done a couple of stitches literally it in the very centre of it yeah. to stop it dropping out. Yeah. Such a stunning project so, yeah, and so that, quick. That, I know, and then that would just be hand-stitched, in my case. <laughs> But if you just wonder clip them, they're easier. Oh. Honestly, it's so much quicker with the wonder clips. <laughs> so you put the flat bit towards you. If you rotate that wonder clip round, you'll oh. find it a lot easier because the bulk of your fabric is on the oh, other so side. Oh, so it is. Perhaps I've been doing it wrong all along. I thought that had to be flat on the... Nope. That's ah. flat to your back because if you now rotate that round, you'll see you've got that lump of the Look bias on that. the other side. Never too old to learn, you see. <laughs> you see, that's why I think it's important. It doesn't matter how long you've been doing this, yeah, there's always there's something always else something. to learn. Well, and there's so many new projects and things coming up as well, isn't it? I know. It's lovely. I mean, like I, at I'm, nine o'clock? I'm, yeah, I, this here, that, Stunning, that particular one just stands out to me. Is it a new venture for you with... Um, Applique then, do you? Yes, applique, but I absolutely adore it. It's I'm lovely, not very good it? at it, but I absolutely adore it. Yeah. Oh, I can't stand it up now. But yes, you can. <laughs> but I I've, so I've want you. to wear it, but I won't. I promise. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Alison, that's okay. fabulous. I've got do, these. What is that? How much fabric did you actually have left oh, yeah, over at the end of this? Oh my goodness, look at that! Because I went off piste a little too. This is the cafetiere, so that's the other colour. So that's the cafetiere yeah. one here. And I did mix up some of the fabrics, but you're going to have loads of fabrics because I also went off piste with a mug rug. Which is just but I love square. this because you're using the templates from Debbie's book and how adorable loved, are I they? I just love, I enjoyed doing those. I mean, they're just, I did bonderweb them. I bonderweb them on and then... We have got bonderweb yeah, on the website. And then free motioned around the outside and all the... Something that I've done with free motion before is I've tried to go free motion, but Debbie says in the book, and it's, it works, use your friction pen and draw out your outline mm. so that... You don't have to stay on it, yeah. it's just a, just guide. a guide, so when you're using your uh, machine you can just use it as a guide and then it just comes out after. But these are just like little rectangles. They're fantastic, and well, what I love as well, we've got the bonderweb here, this is 1.2 metres by 17.5 centimetres, which is actually a huge amount of bonderweb, it's it only 2.99. Yeah. So that's, you can get that as well, and the great thing is with the book at 7.99, one of these uh, kits at 17.99, and look how much fabric you're getting left over so I've from still this. got these, I mean, so there's and enough... And you still, still have the lining as well. Yes, yeah, I mean, these are from the two different kits, so... But you can see, with this one, no, not that one. With this one, I actually used the spot for, for the, the back. backing as well. It's brilliant. So that was um, Well, so when, that was when you started, over. the yellow kit was winning. And I can see why. It's so much fun. Is that still winning? Yep, definitely proving to be the most popular at the moment. With the... Not that one. With the... Um, this one here. Have I got time just to show people how to go around that corner with a bit of binding? Because if it's you can easy. talk through it, because I don't think we'll have enough time to do the whole. No, thing. no, just I just do just that, that little, little bit section. There. Okay, I'll do that there because oh, you've probably got two and a half minutes. Ah, plenty. Because I won't go all the way around. These I are just so two hair count. elastics. I really want to put a countdown clock on you. Yeah. Now, but I promise I won't. <laughs> <laughs> because it's easy to tell people everywhere the has the mitered yeah. corners, but when you're going through this one here. This is kind of a mitered corner, but mm -hmm. you do it in the same way. But if I just... You can leave that off. Okay. okay. Right. I'll just go down here. We can probably give you three minutes if you like. No, it's all right. It'll just take a couple of seconds, that's all. So I'm going to go down to the point... I've got my point, so I'm going to go down there. 
So you're at this point over here at the very bottom there. Yeah. So what have we got? Yep. We've got this here and I've just sewn down to the actual point and I'm going to clip down, <gasps> not right to it, but oh very close to the stitching. No, no, wait, 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 let me see. How far down have you cut? Just about a thread or two above look, the... A thread or two above the stitching, okay. yes. Normally I would do this while it's in the machine. I wouldn't take yep. it out of the machine. So... Because I've never done this myself, so this ah, is really right, good. Okay. So I'll get back to where I was with the... the stitch. Right. Now take your foot up and leave your needle down. Needle down, yeah. And you're going to fold this all. Oh, I'm so glad you're showing us this. So your foot's still up. Yeah, and I've got a fold here, look. Yes. So now I'm going to fold that back down. So my piece of fabric is now straight. Oh my goodness! That piece of fabric. I don't know whether you can you can't actually see it, can you? No, but, but I understand exactly what you're straight. doing. Is because yeah. obviously with that notch, you'd be able to get the fabric straight, and then you're just sewing in a straight line. Yeah. <gasps> you clever lady. So you've actually got your corner, corner in here. So when you fold it through, you can then fold that you back. Can then Oh, got Alison, you've got just... a kind of opposite mitre, really. <laughs> that goes. Can we call it an inter? Yes. <laughs> yes. An inter. An inter, yes. <laughs> there you go. And then you just. There you go. And that, is that explained in the went... book? No. Oh, no. <laughs> top two. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, Alison, then that's you can brilliant. Just, you've got your little inverted mitre. You're in. Iter. <laughs> inter. <laughs> inter <-iter. laughs> Inter-iter. Inter-iter. Yes. <laughs> we'll so yeah, that was something pending, that I wanted to show because that's something that can confuse people going around that, that, that direction. That is really clever. <laughs> so all you're doing is you're cutting into the V, yeah, you, you leave your needle down, and when your needle's down, you then just pull the fabric that's what you're doing. taut. You're doing, you're putting your Putting it nice like and straight, that. and then just sewing in a yeah, straight line I mean, over you fold, the mitre. Fold this bit back, all the bulk back and just carrying on so that you've got a straight line. Oh, how clever. And then when you get to the corner where your um, right hand this, finger this is there. This would just be a normal, normal, uh, uh, yeah. a normal yeah. mitre in that. So you go around there like that. How brilliant. Yeah. Alison, thank you so much. Oh, that was brilliant. <laughs> and again, you did brilliantly. Congratulations. You. Well done. You've now done your third guest know, bevo. Well yes. done. <laughs> it's lovely to have you. And you're back at 10 o'clock. Yes. What are you making for us then? A hopscotch mat. Oh, I'm excited. And we've yes, got your aprons mat. as well, I think. Yes, yes. We've got those back in stock now. So, Alison, thank you so much. We're going to remind you. everybody how to buy now with us. And we'll see you at 10 o'clock. Okay, lovely. Look forward to it. <laughs> do you want to just go off? I can do these. Oh. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers Landing Page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the Watch Live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Wasn't that the most fantastic demo? All of the demos we were doing today came from Debbie Shaw's book. It is called Quilted Covers and Cozies. $7.99 today, such a great deal. Really love these and all these wonderful products here that we've had Alison demoing there. We've got our wonderful kits today for this. Um, we've got um, each of the kits come with a meter of Thermalan um, and you're getting half a meter of all three of the fabrics. So. You've got your wonderful blue dot. 
your cotton poplin there, you've got your beige, half a metre of the beige for your lining, and then you get a half a metre of your Lewis and Irene yellow, and this is proving to be the most popular bundle that we've had in today, $17.99 for, uh, $17 for that today, definitely the most popular bundle of the three, and you can see why, it's absolutely beautiful, and you can see all the wonderful things that you can make with that. Mm -hmm. So next we've got our wonderful grey and turquoise bundle, which is equally lovely. You've got your turquoise pop cotton poplin. You've also got your metre of Thermalan, like with all of the kits. You've got a, me a half metre of your turquoise poplin, half a metre of your beige for all your linings and backings. And then you've got this wonderful gr um, grey co um, cocktail sticks by Lewis and Irene. Again, $17.99 for that today. And then the last bundle we've got is this lovely blue, um, dark blue dot, cotton poplin there, beautiful that. We've also got the metre of Thermalan, half a metre of your beige, and then half a metre of this beautiful, beautiful grey. But now we are, if you want to just get Thermalan on its own, we've also got that as well. Uh, also, being, is that sold by the metre or the half metre? by the meter, so a meter by 90 centimeters. So if I'm not mistaken, it is exactly like that. That is going to be the size that you're getting, a meter by 90 centimeters. And we're selling these for 5.99. Now, you know with our bundles, we like to bring you great deals. If you look at how much you're gonna be saving by getting the Thermalan on its own in the fabric, it's worth probably getting a bundle. Just have a little look at that and see what you think. But this is such a lovely product as well, very versatile. And if you get them in the kit, you can get loads more out of it. Alison said with all the demonstrations she was making and all the kits, she only used one of these out of two bundles. So you will have loads left over. Don't forget about our wonderful early bird as well. Don't forget to check back on those, our wonderful 505 and 404. Got these available for both of these today. Is it 12 98 12 98 and I'm not going to say anything more. I'm just going to hold this in my hand and go like that and say check at 11 o'clock Oracle. Check the website www.sewingstreet.com. Have a check on there for the um, products coming up. After the break, Block of the Week. I'm so excited. It's called Moving On Up and Block One will be with you right after this. Hello, my name is Sally Stevens. I'm from Worcestershire, a little town called Upton upon Severn, which is a lovely little riverside town. And not far from there, I also have a little sewing studio, so I can work and leave all my mess left out um, when I'm preparing projects and quilts and so on. My speciality is, in fact, quilting, patchwork and quilting, and I probably started that when I was about 14 years ago. So as I often joke, that was only seven years ago. In fact, it was rather a lot longer, but I've always enjoyed crafting and patchwork really hooked me and I love it. So now then, what can I tell you? Some, something you may not realise about me is that although lots of you have seen me many, many times on, um, on sewing TV and classes, because I, I teach as well, um, I also do a lot of unpicking. So don't be afraid ever. If you have to unpick things, so do we. It's not a problem. We all have to start somewhere and sometimes you get a bit cocky and think, oh, I can just do that without pinning or without this. And then you think, ah, should have paid attention to my own words. So some sewing tips for you. That's one. Keep a, a seam ripper handy. That will always be your friend. And um, another one that I think is very important, whether you're a, a beginner or more experienced, when you're sewing something, particularly for the first time, a new technique, slow down. There's no rush, it's not a race. Have a little practice with spare fabrics if you've got them before you use your best fabric that you've just purchased so that you get your techniques just right. But also slow down, take your time, watch what you're doing, think about what you're doing and read the instructions. That's always very useful. So what can I say? I've been asked to say what my claim to fame might be and I would have to say in all honesty, being on Sewing Street. Hi, I'm Rosie Wells. My name's Poppy and I'm a nutritional therapist. Hi, I'm Ruth Lynette and I can't wait to join you all on the brand new Gemporia Lifestyle channel. If you're a fan of primal living, you're gonna adore what's around the corner. What is lifestyle? Lifestyle is 
healthy habits, feeling good, it's about looking great, making sure that we're taking good care of ourselves inside, and it's about the life that you lead and the home that you live in. All of this is why I'm so excited. We've got the most wonderful team. Homeware deals and primal deals under one roof on one channel. I can't wait to share this brand new channel with you. So we'll see you soon on Gemporia Lifestyle. Gemporia Lifestyle, coming soon to Freeview Channel 74 and Gemporia.com. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hello everyone, my name is Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. I'm oh, sorry, I just saw a slide that said Christmas makes. I am so excited about that Christmas one. Anyway, I'm gonna calm down and just say welcome. Block of the week, the second one, moving on up. It is such a lovely project. There are 16 blocks in this one. Let me show you what the quilt is. So we've got two colorways for you today. This is the one we've called, which is Blossom, which is a much more softer, really beautiful florals, absolutely lovely, really, really enjoying. Again, all of the quilts are gonna be um, starting at very, very beginner, and then are moving on to slightly more advanced. So by the end of this, you should have enough skills to call yourself an intermediate beginner slash intermediate because you will cover so many different areas. Um, the ones that we've done today, I can just show you because it's the bottom of the screen. This is our little block for today. So somebody who's done block of the week, the first block of the week, you might feel a little bit more comfortable doing this for your first week than you did when you first started. But again, if you're just joining us to start a block of the week, you'll be able to then start that and feel much more
more comfortable because we have tried to build it up as we go along and by the end you'll be doing slightly more complicated blocks that at the moment may scare you but they won't in a few weeks I promise. Then this is our wonderful combination here which we've called rainbow and again I think this one shows it a bit clearer for the advanced blocks as well. Um, I'm going to do this and hopefully not destroy the set. Um, we've got this gorgeous applique block there. You can just see, oh, it's falling off already. <laughs> so I'm going to put that back up. But we've got some really wonderful designs in here. Like we've got a gorgeous Dresden plate. Oh, sorry, you could get it there. Sorry. So that is our gorgeous little applique block there as well, which is very, very popular already. I've had loads of messages on that already. But you can see each of the blocks then expand your techniques. And you look at this and you think, oh my goodness, how on earth would you do that? And it's a lot easier than you think. So this is something that we'll be able to teach you as we go through the whole process. And you'll see that I've shown you the first block. This will be your second block here. This is going to, uh, I can't remember which one I've done as my third. But we're going to build up those skills as we go along. Now, we've done something slightly different for this block of the, uh, the block of the week what we've decided to do is we're going to be giving you a panel every week and this is just an example of the panel that you'll get for the floral one the blossom one but what we're asking people to do is not only are you going to get the panel but you are going to need to buy your background fabric because we wanted to make sure that everything was consistent for your quilt so you'll see on the um, the rainbow one that we've done this is the rainbow gym metric. Um, we've done this one as a background in white. Um, so you'll see we've now also got a two and a half meter bundle, which is all the white that you would need for the sashing, the border, the background, everything for the quilt. So the reason why we've done it is we just wanted to make sure that you had the consistent colors and that the vibrancy of the patterns that you're buying as the, uh, the, the pattern panels stand out the way you want it and also you'll see the quilts change drastically which whichever fabric you choose so you can see this one we've chosen a white background but this one we've chosen a cream background and you can see with the white on there and the cream on there you can see how well they've worked but if I switch these round you can tell you're going to have a totally different look on your quilt by doing it that way. So we thought this way as well. It gives you more options because we're only bringing you two different combinations of fabric, but that changes completely for the background. And of course, I like doing things a little bit differently. And I looked at this and when we did the design and we had them out, I thought, oh, I want to do black as a background. Now look at that with a black. It's so, so different depending on which fabric you choose. And the brights on the black, I think, work really, really, really well. But it's very, very modern and very contemporary. And for me, I look at the black and I think, oh my goodness, the quilting that I could do on the black would be incredible because I like doing my designs and then coming back onto the quilting and looking and seeing how the quilting would go. So the one we're going to start with today is the floral. So this is what the floral looks like. That's how big the panels are. So the panels are a little bit smaller this time around, but each week, each week you're going to be able to get the, exactly the same that we did the book before. You'll get the panel like that, um, and then you'll get the set of instructions. Now the set of instructions are slightly bigger this time around uh, because we wanted to make sure that all the words were legible for everybody um, and making sure that the pictures were still there. So you're getting a, a different sized uh, pattern this size this week, and you're getting the instructions and the panel for $7.99. Tell me that's not a great deal. So when I saw the price, I was like, nope, something is wrong. But alas, nope, that is the way we're doing it. And I think what's also important is have a look at these fabrics that we've done. They are so, so adorable. The colors are so vibrant and the designs are so fun as well. Absolutely loving these. Absolutely loving these. So you can see the different designs and you can see that they change all the way. Now there are a total of eight different fabrics with this. Uh, what we've done is the background color we've called your fabric one. So you will decide how you then call your, what, whichever your background is. And you can see the detailing there, the beautiful little bees and the locks in there. I just think it's been so beautiful, beautiful thought. You've got the key and the lock in there as well. You know, a lot of thought has gone through this and these are all exclusive to Sewing Street. Um, 
Um, and I won't deny, Tom and I spent hours looking at all these different ones. It's great. But you'll see each one of your fabrics, like before, will have a number on it. So what I would suggest is that you cut out fabrics one to nine as you go along. And remember, fabric one is your background fabric that you are choosing. So that's going to be your choice is what you choose for your background fabric. So when you do your key, you'll see you'll get your instructions and you'll see exactly what you're cutting. And then you'll cut, you'll put your, uh, just like you did before, your fabric key on the back of your page. So this is your, your front page there. What I always suggest with these is then turn it over on the back page, divide this into nine, how you want it, write fabric one and put down where it's got fabric nine there, cut that little bit out and then put a little bit of that fabric there. So you can write fabric one, put your background there, call it background and then put the piece of fabric on there. That way on the back of your pattern you've always got the design and the colorway that you've chosen to do it. So this is the first color colorway that we've done which is called Blossom. Um, and then we've also got a second colorway, which we've called Rainbow. This is the Pastel Rainbow one. I think we just need to, brilliant, look at those. And the colors here are really good. So you can see all these gorgeous different colors here and you can see the detailing on it. It's not just a solid green. We've got these gorgeous little designs on them as well. And you can see each of them are really lovely. So you can see all these gorgeous different colors on there as well. Love these, and you can see these are actually little cog um, cogs on there as well. They're just so beautifully designed, really lovely designs on them, really fun. And you can see then, when I have all of these together, what I love about what we can do is then when I put all of those together, and you do that, and you're looking for a background fabric, if we zoom out a little more, because I didn't discuss this with you before, sorry, you can see there, when I put the white on it, you can see how that goes really, really well. But then if I put the cream on it, you can see you get a totally different feel when you put the cream on it. You see? And of course, I love my modern quilts. Maybe this would work for you. If you put the black on it, look how that changes again. It's a totally, totally different feel. But you see, those are just um, five of the colors and we do have nine different colors. So what we can do is I will show you all nine colors because there's one block that has all of the nine colors in. Um, I can only do this on the blossoms one because you can see all nine colors are in that blossom one there. Get that up there. Whoops, sorry, I'm, mo I'm moving and Kat's moving at the same time, sorry. It's Kat's birthday t tomorrow, so happy birthday, Kat. And can we also say happy birthday to our Haley B, our marketing guru of everything. She's amazing. Her birthday today, and it's also Jess's birthday tomorrow. So happy birthday to the whole team. It's like birthday weekend over here. It's wonderful. It was Hannah's birthday last week. So all of you, happy, happy birthday. So you can see all these wonderful colors there that that's going to be all nine of the colors. So you can see they're all so different but they work so beautifully well together there. They're really, really good. See, I really like it on the black. I think it works very, very well with the black, but it's entirely up to you. But now with the backing fabrics, what we're doing is we've, you're gonna get these every week. And then what you're going to need in total, you will need two and a half meters of your back. So that the bundles that we're about to show you are enough for your whole quilt. And by that, I mean, you can see here, all the white that you see here in the block, the sashing, the borders, everything, two and a half meters is enough to cover all of that. In this one, the cream, 
Two and a half meters covers everything, the background, the sashing, the borders, the whole lot. So two and a half meters will cover you there, no problem whatsoever. Now we have got these as, uh, as set apart bundles at the moment. Um, I think you are making a little bit of a saving getting them as well. So we've got the black background as well. Oh, are those um, in different colors? Perfect. So the black one is £17.49, two and a half metres of that. We've also got it available in the cream. So also, is that also 17 17 45 sorry, there it is, the cream one, £17.45. And then the white one as well, we've got those. And again, these are two and a half metres by the usual 42 inches wide, so that's one metre 12, uh, and that's also 17 45 So that is then all your background and all your sashing sorted. And then each week, you will be getting a panel of all the fabrics that you need for that block for the week. And just to remind you, this is now our rainbows bundle. So that's the fabric panel you're going to get for the rainbow. And I'll just grab my instructions and hopefully be able to do that in the same way. So you've got the instructions and the panel. That's going to be £7.99 this week. And every week going forward, £7.99 as far as I've been told. So such a great saving on the last one there. And then if you wanted to do the blossom combination, and that's going to be the blossom combination here. Brilliant. So I think I'm going to start this today. Which one shall I do it with? Shall I do it with the blossom? I'm going to do the blossom. So what we've done is I've got the blossom block finished in the cream. So I thought I would show you the blossom in the cream first. And you can see just this way how it changes. Now I didn't do the blossom in the white because one has to sleep at some point in your life. Hasn't been much of that in the last few months, but that's all right, I love it. But I thought I would cheat and put the white blocks on top of it so you can see. Just to give you an idea of what it looks like up close and personal if you wanted to change it round. So that will be the cream and the white. So this is the white that I've got at the moment. And if I then, as if by magic, take that off, you can see what it would look like in the cream. And then, as if by magic, you've also got it in the black. Now, I absolutely adore the black, so I'm going to be doing mine in black today, and I'm gonna be doing our wonderful, so this is the geometric one, sorry, I've gotta stop calling it geometric, the rainbow. This is the rainbow in white, which I think works really beautifully. I'm gonna do my demonstration in the blossom, and I'm gonna be using a black background, so if you do want to do uh, your background in any color you like, make sure you get that on the website. So I'm doing my blossom. Now, as with this, it's got my name on it. So of course, the very first thing I'm going to do is cut my salvage off and keep my salvage forever and ever, amen. Because it's by, oh, try not to throw it on the floor. So first things first, I'm going to trim off all this white fabric. Now I have to remind you, you get a lot of this white fabric and it is, it's really good quality. So hang on to it, don't get rid of it, hang on to it because you can use it for different bits of your projects. We had on um, the, I can't remember, who, who did the uh, door stops? Was it Wendy Orlando? Wendy Orlando, she came on and she gave us that tip that she's kept all the salvages of all the things that she's bought and she uses the little white things for other projects. So we try and hang on to those as well because you can use them for your little bits of bunting on those projects very, very easily. And that's a very good point. I'm just hearing from Kat. She uses these to tie her, her fabrics together, which I think is a really good tip. Now my favorite thing to do with all of these is I separate all these fabrics out. So I've got all my fabrics separated. So I know then which is my fabric one, which is my fabric, and you just separate them that way. Just makes your life that little bit easier. So I love these fabrics individually or together. I love them. Oh. Didn't quite get that in, but there we go. So as I said to you before, I'm going to cut, you do get more than enough fabric on here. You will have lots left over. So I'm doing that as my 
that's my fabric too. So I'm putting that to one side. So that will be your fabric two every single week, all the way through. So that's why as you get your fabrics, build your key up, because as you get to the end of the project, you're going to need to know which is fabric one, two, three, because we're only using five of, oh, with your background, six of your fabrics today. Um, so these will be the same all the way through. So I've got fabric one, two, one is my background, two and three there. And while I'm here, I'm going to cut off fabric number seven. Even though I'm jumping around in numbers here, the fabrics will remain the same throughout the quilt. So what I'm calling fabric five will be that gorgeous yellow all the way through the quilt. And you see, the thing I love most about this project and the way that they've done it this time, given the price of the last block of the week, you might actually be able to do both of these and be able to get both of them. And you're paying almost the same as what you did for the one last time. Brilliant. And there we go, pulling the yellow out. And there you go, that is how easy it is to separate all these fabrics. And to then keep your color key nice and secure that you know exactly what you're doing. And there's one I haven't cut the fabric number out. One, two, there we go, the yellow one. So there we go, that's all your fabric separated. Um, I've got my fabric one, two, three, five, seven, and nine, all lined up there at the top of my mat. And you can see all the numbers at the top there. And I leave those at the top of my mat just to make the lead. Oh, I'm hearing Blossom is in the lead. You're loving that. So what I'm going to do now is just because these have been folded up before they're coming through, just like you will do, I'm going to get my June Taylor. Oh, and I've got the best press on the counter, so I'm going to just use it anyway, just because I love my best press. Oh, I'm hearing we may be sold out of the best press. So, sorry about that, but do keep checking the website. When we do sell out of things, they do come back in as quickly as the delivery allows in this time and day and age. Things have changed a little, so things take a little bit longer to get to us. We even had, so our show today at, 11, at 10 o'clock, uh, we had a little bit of a panic yesterday. Didn't quite know whether we'd be getting half the products in. And the little man from the, the company that delivers our product, he was at the door at quarter past seven this morning, just before I got in. And he was literally at the door waiting. So I was able to let him in to get the product. So that's how close to the arrow sometimes we get it. So what you're going to do now, there is one fabric that you're going to cut a really big piece out of. And that is gonna be out of my background fabric. So I'm gonna cut my background fabric first. So my biggest piece, okay, I'm just going to cut that as a strip. Now I'm only using a half a meter piece at the moment. Okay. Now, one thing we were just mentioning earlier in the show is some of you might not want to buy the full half, uh, full two and a half meters um, at the moment. You might not need it or want it. Uh, maybe you just want to do a little bit of a, you know, maybe you just want to do one block of the project. What you can do is we do sell all these fabrics by the half meter. So you have got the ability of being able to buy the fabric by the half meter and give it a go and just try one block and see if you like it. And the good thing is, is these half meters that we do sell sell, they're the same all the time. So if you wanted to buy a half meter now and a half meter in week three, that's absolutely fine. We've got the ability for you, we're trying to keep everything consistent. So you'll see at the moment I'm doing the black and we do sell these by the half meter. It's £3.49. Is it the same price if you buy the two and a half meters? It's the same price, right. So you will be paying the same price whether you buy it by half meters or if you wanted to do it as a two and a half meter um, piece in one go. For myself, I like buying one two and a half meter pieces. Sorry? Oh, so if you do want to buy a two and a half meter piece, I prefer to just have all my fabric in one place, all sorted, don't need to worry about it, and it's there. That's just my preference. You do what's best for you. 
So at the moment on your screens, you'll see that we've got the cream by the half meter. So if you wanted the cream, you can then easily do that. You can get that from there. And then you've got the white on your screens at the moment. So I'm using the black. The other options, obviously, is the cream and the white. So you can easily get those then by the half meter on the website. And if you wanted to use another color, go and have a search. We've got a huge, huge amount of 100% um, cottons. If you just type in 100 and cotton, you'll get all of the different cottons that we've got. And there's a huge collection there. It's wonderful. So all I'm doing now is I'm just very, very slowly working through the pattern in the cutting guide because I think it's always important for you to see how you're cutting these. Now, we are not cutting these to size. You'll have to double check the pattern for the actual size that you're cutting these to. It's all listed in the pattern. So make sure you do do that. And I've just realized I haven't cut enough fabric there. So I need to go and cut another piece of fabric. Oh. Didn't cut that very well. There we go. That's nice and square there. Getting one more strip. That's fine. And now remember, that if you do want to get all your fabric at once, because for myself, I love having all, I've got little project bags. So every time I start a new project, I have a little bag. It's a nice little an inexpensive hessian bag that I've bought in bulk some time ago and every project has a little hessian bag and if I've got time or Sylvia has time we actually write on the outside of the bag what's inside and then in that bag goes all the fabric all the patterns if I'm using different threads that all goes in one place um, and it's just a nice way of staying on top of all of your fabrics so now I'm going to be using fabric two and fabric, so fabric two, I need a big piece. So I'm going to cut my fabric two very quickly. And again, all the measurements are in the pattern. So you can go back and check the pattern. Brilliant. So that is your central square. Sorry, my wires are running away from me. That's your central square there, but you're also going to need some extra pieces. And how many of these do I need? Four. Just checking where I've got enough to do that. Okay. I'm hearing the blossom is going very, very well. We all need a bit of floral in our lives, don't we? Three there. I only need four of these. Sorry, I misread the pattern. I was cutting eight. There we go. So I only need four of them. So again, now this is the fabric you're going to have left over from your fabric number two. So you can see there's a nice bit of fabric there left over. I mistakenly misread the pattern and cut it too big. So that's how much you're going to have left of that. So you need uh, four of those and the middle section. That's your fabric two. Fabric three is that one there. So fabric three and fabric five. I'm now doing this because I like saving time. And then fabric six, this is my, oh, no, that's fabric seven. And then my fabric number nine. 
So all I'm doing now, as you can see, I've now layered these all on top of each other, and I get them all into the exact same position because I like doing less steps. So now all I'm doing, and again, check the pattern for the size of the pieces that you're cutting. And all I'm doing now is I'm just cutting groups of these in one go. Now, some of them will need more, some of them will need less. The pattern will tell you exactly what it is that you need. I know I don't need more than that for those top ones. And I need a bit more of the yellow. So what I'm doing now is I'm now rotating these and getting them all in the same line. There we go. I just find it so much easier cutting larger, larger sections. But you must do what works best for you. If you prefer cutting less sections, you must do that. It's your quilt, your project, there's no time limit. And there we go. So I'm lining these up against the mat so that I know they are perfectly placed. So when I cut my next squares, Right, so I now need, so this is my fabric number nine. I need four of those squares, so there we go. There's my four squares of my number nine. And then my fabric seven, I need four squares of that. And then my fabric three, I need four squares of that. And then my fabric number five, I need eight squares, so I've got two, four, six, and I just need two more of them. You see, what's really important with this as well, and the reason why I'm telling you when you do your key that you cut them like that, is you can see fabric seven and fabric nine, they are relatively similar, but it's good to have them as the full key because I don't want you to get this confused. I don't think there'll be a problem if there is because it doesn't really matter if you use the wrong one in the wrong space. It'll be absolutely fine. It's just easier for me. I certainly work better having all my bits, uh, all of my fabric keys complete and that I know what's going on there. Oh, we've had some lovely messages, yes. We had a message in from Leanne. Morning, Leanne. Saying morning, John, and all the team. Hello. How big is the finished product? Oh, lovely. She's saying she's loving the movement on the block of the week. Oh, she's doing the floral on cream. She can't wait to get it in the post. Are we using scatter? Oh my goodness, that's such a great question. Um, she's asking whether we're using a scant quarter inch on making these blocks. And my, my answer is simply, do what's best for you. Myself, I will be going in one thread. When I'm doing triangles, I go two threads. When I'm doing squares, I go in one thread from the exact quarter inch. So it is a slight scant quarter inch, but it is literally one thread. And it's absolutely great that you're asking that. Thank you very much. So now what we're going to do is we're going to lay these out so I know that that's in the middle and I know that one goes there, that one goes there, that one goes there and that one goes there. Hopefully I'm in the screen, I am. And then I have my light blue which is going, okay let me do my background fabric now. Background, background 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 oh look how good that black looks they really work well do you see why I thought the black I don't know if it's one for everybody but it is a lovely color combination and that's the good thing about this is I wanted people to have the option because the one thing I did love about the last quilt was that we had three really fabulous colorways but some people didn't like those colorways and they didn't like this bit about them. Now you're in complete control of how it is that you do this. I think it's a really nice way of being able to do it. So next we have the light green goes there. Light green goes there, light green goes there, light green goes there. And I call them light green simply because that's what's in the pattern. Um, and then light pink is my number nine. So that goes there, that goes there. And that goes there, and that goes there. And then that goes there, 
that goes there, that goes there, and that goes there. Now, I did all of that thinking, oh my goodness, I'm never going to remember it. And then I forgot I've actually made the block. I can refer back to it myself. You're not going to have the finished block ready for you to go, so that's easy. Now, the pattern is very clear on how best to do all of this, so do follow that through. I'm just now going to chain pieces. Right, how long have I got? Oh, I've got plenty of time. So make sure you've got your quarter inch as your, the, I've forgotten the lady's name who asked the question. Leanne, you asked the, oh, that's not right. There we go, that's quarter inch, perfect. I am gonna just quickly test this because I always think it's important to double check your quarter inch before you start. So what you would do is you would align your foot where you think it is, you get your ruler, you put it on, and you can see there that is exactly what I'm looking for. It is a, literally one thread away from the quarter inch. That's exactly what you're looking for there. So that's where we are there. So now all I'm going to do is I'm now going to chain piece these all the way through. And I've got a fabulous little feature on my machine that I can then press my thread cutter as I go along. So if you want to break the thread as you go, that's absolutely fine. Otherwise you just chain piece these all in order. Now the way I'm making the quilt now is different to the way that the, the block is, is different to the instructions, but the technique is exactly the same. It doesn't matter which color you're going to be putting together, because I suggest you put these together all in one piece. I'm just doing them in rows, just to make my life a little easier. Because you're not gonna be live on telly trying to teach everybody with a little stop clock going over your head. I do love this one because I think it's going to be really interesting to see what people pick as their background colour. When we were playing around with it, we had some, uh, I thought, trying it with a claret, that really deep burgundy background that we have as an option. That was gorgeous. It really worked well. And, but I think there's loads of different blues on the website as well. So it's going to be very interesting to see how everybody does this quilt. So I'm looking forward to seeing all the pictures. Because the best thing we've had, well, the best thing for me was being able to watch the Facebook page and see how everybody was um, doing, how everybody was getting involved and how everybody was creating all these fabulous quilts, being able to do it. So do make sure when you do take part and you are making your block, please share them on Instagram, share them on Facebook. We love seeing what you're doing. And this is a nice way to stay in touch with your fellow sewers that you know what you're all doing. And we love being able to hear from you that way. So please keep that going, we love that. So just double checking I've got this the right way, the bee in the corner and the bee that way. Brilliant, so now I've got those there. I'm now gonna do my next row. The pattern shows you a slightly different method. You get to the exact same results. And all I'm doing now is breaking these apart as I go. But again, you've got that thread cutter on your machine usually that you can break these as you go. Um, so that one goes there, that one goes there, and that one goes there, and that one goes there. So I'm starting at the top this time. And the great thing of doing these is one, doing it like this, is that when you come now to do your pressing, you can do all your pressing in one go. Oh, 
put that the wrong way around. This is why we check it. I do love that heart block. Very excited to do that one. So there we go, that's the majority of the sewing of your block, which is a little bit different than last time. I'm just gonna trim these this way. And again, I'm double checking these as I go along. So I've got my B in the corner, B on the inside. I've got my yellow there and I've got it there. So, nope, something's not right there. I've got this the wrong way around. There we go. So you can tell when you've made a mistake, it'll show. So all you're doing now is you're gonna now press this block out as you go. Now the joy of this June Taylor is you can press on top of your project. Now remember, I like to press my seams open. You must do whatever works for you. Sorry, we have a little friend in the studio. This little fly has appeared out of nowhere. Oh. I'm trying to spray him away, but he, does, he likes it here. He's moved in. There we go. It is nice and cool in here though. And don't forget now we've got our block of the week back every single week for 16 weeks now, nine o'clock. Looking forward to sharing all these different skills with you. You've got these wonderful way of, go away. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> got all these wonderful different techniques we're gonna be able to share with you all the way through. And just like with block of the week one, you'll be building your skills up as you go, learning different techniques, and just being able to take part and have fun with it. Now pressing your seams open does take a little bit longer. So these ones I'm gonna just press to the dark side. Simply for time, you must do what works best for you. And there we go, we're getting there nice and slowly. Just take your time because this is really important. Get the pressing completely right. So when you come to put the block together, it's all going to work perfectly. Just take your time, there's no rush. There we go. So now all you're going to do is you're going to join these together to make squares. And you can see then it'll be a big nine patch. But first of all, check you've got your, pa your pattern completely right. Oh, we've got 10. Okay, oops. Right, this might be close. I just want to double check. There we go, there we go. There we go, there we go. There we go, there we go. There we go. There we go. Perfect. go. And when you do this, you're lining these two sections up here. So you'll see you've got that black and yellow seam there and you've got the seam there. What you're trying to do is you're trying to match those seams up as perfectly as you can. So if you're nesting your seams, so there I press my seams open, you can see that I'm lining it up like that to do it. If you've nested your seams, 
what you do then, and by that you're pressing to the dark side, you then, when you've put the fabric together, you can feel that there's no gap. So when you rotate it back, you can see there. So if my fabric was like that, you can see I've got that gap there. When you put your fingers on it, you can feel there's a gap. So what you're trying to do is to nest those perfectly so that there's absolutely no gap. That's what you're looking for if you press your seeds to the sides and then trying to get your seams in the middle. Now, again, I just remind you, it doesn't matter. If anybody criticizes your quilt, the only time anybody should be able to pass an opinion on your quilt is if you have actually entered it into a competition. That is the only time you should be having any form of feedback on your quilt because they're all made out of love and they're made for people that you care about and they won't mind. I've never heard of anybody giving their quilt back to someone who's made it for them when it's been made with love. If a seam has been missed or a point is out, no one notices it other than yourself. So don't worry about it. Just this is supposed to be fun and enjoyable and you're meant to enjoy it. That is all you're doing. And you're building up your skills. So the block you make today is not going to be as good as the block you make in, a, in six weeks time or a year's time. It's because you're learning and we always learn. Oh, we've had another message in. Message in from Nicola. Morning, Nicola. Oh, she's off work with an injury. Oh, I'm sorry. While she's been re um, recovering, she's been watching our show every day and she loves the demos. She loves my shirt. Does she, do you make them themselves? No, I don't. This is my husband's shirt. Uh, we have about 170 to 200 shirts at the moment. I'm going to see how long I can go without wearing the same shirt twice. And then we're going to see if somebody, I might have a prize for the person who guesses that I've worn the same shirt twice at some point. So no, I don't make them myself. We buy them. Um, there are some incredible people who can make shirts very, very well. Unfortunately, that skill I haven't learnt just yet. Maybe one day. At the moment, I make too many quilts and I'm too busy with that. But we do, but we, if I could, I would. The lovely Alison who was on today, she made me a shirt recently. And I jokingly said to her, maybe she should be my personal shirt maker. And uh, we never know, that may come forward. We'll see how we go. We had a message in from Maureen as well. Morning, Maureen. Oh, so she's pointing out that the block and the panels aren't actually on the website. So Maureen, thank you for letting us know that. We have got a few, we have got a few little gremlins in our system at the moment. But in, on the screen at the moment, over here, you'll see there's a little code, O-U-X-C-3-1. Um, that should bring the block up. Otherwise, if you type in John and Week, those codes, John and Week, uh, or it might be B-O-W. Do it on there. Just type in maybe B-O-W or Moving On Up. That should then bring the quilt up. Otherwise, if you need to, give the call centre a ring. They're really lovely and they're very, very helpful. So any questions or queries you may have, they may be able to help you with that there. The other code you may need for the other colourway is now on the screen. So just check those out as you go. We are running a little bit late today, but obviously the launch, I had lots to show you. But we'll be a few minutes now. Right, so get my June Taylor again press these all open or press them to one side, whichever you prefer. I think what I'll do is I'll do, no, these don't matter. Perfect. Now, if I'm clever, what I'll do is I'll put my block here and I will do this double time and check as I go. So I put my black there, black there, black there. So all I'm doing here, you'll notice I'm not pressing my seams open. Um, I just then make sure that I'm getting it as flat as I can get it. And the top tip is that 
should measure the same size as that central square. So if you're a little nervous as to whether you got it right or not, check your central square. That's your main um, size that you're getting it to. If you are a little bit bigger than your main square, trim it down, but make sure you have a little check as to why you're bigger. Now, I think it's really important not to make yourself feel bad, but it's important to just learn as you go um, that you check, you see, that's the wrong way around, I'm checking. As you go through, just double check that your seams are the correct size. Um, if they're slightly bigger or smaller, then that will be the reason as to why there's a difference. Um, and then on top of that, also check whether your um, cutting is correct. Oh my goodness, I sewed that the wrong way around. We're going to pretend I didn't. Do I have time to unpick that? Okay. Sorry, boys and girls. Uh, that's right. See, now that I've mentioned it, you can all see it. But what I've done over here is I've sewn these the right way around. So they should be the other way around. So just double, well, just imagine that that's the other way around. So what you're going to do now is you've got those all together. Uh, you're now going to sew those three together and those three together and those three together. So I'm going to start at the bottom. Again, what you're doing is you're looking to match these seams up completely to line that up perfectly. And once you've got that, that's your, that's your trick. You need to make sure that your seams are lined up perfectly there. And again, if you miss it, it doesn't matter. It'll be great if you can. If you don't get one, try and get the, the next one. If you do need to unpick these, that's absolutely fine. Do unpick them as you go. Um, so I, because you've got three, you can't really sew more than two at a time. So there we go. And again, now when you've got your seams pressed to the side, so over here you've got my seams pressed to the side, I'm doing that nesting thing again, just making sure it nests in beautifully. If you press your seams open, just like I showed you at the beginning of the block, you're going to fold it back and check that that seam all runs together. Perfect. So you can see I've now sewn those two together. I'm going to um, put these on there to make it the three. And all the way through, you're just matching your seams up as you go, trying to line those all up perfectly. So that's your central block there. And that's your block there. So you can see that's what where you are and how you're going. And then you press your seams again. I have to say this board, this June Taylor board is spectacular for this type of thing. I really love it. So that goes there. There we go. And then over here. So 
So you can all get the gist of how it is we're putting these together. I'm going to put one half on to show you what it is that you're looking to do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this half on. So when you fold this over, now you know I don't use pins, but you're most welcome to. What you're looking to do is exactly the same as we've done before. You're looking that that black seam line follows all the way through. So that one is a nested seam, so I make sure that's all nested. Exactly the same there, and you're trying to meet all of these points as you go along, all the way through. Now over here, you'll see that there's a little bit of give. Over here, you'll see that point there is not going to quite match. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the bottom and I'm going to ease this little section in because everything else lines up perfectly. I've obviously done something with this piece here, which is what's caused the problem. So I know then when I look at that, nope, it's cut the same, but I can see this seam here is very short. And when I put that on there, that seam there is very short as well. So you can see my seam, that's a quarter of an inch. So I'm about four threads away from it there, which I shouldn't be. And that's where I'm saying, when you've made an error, don't worry about it. Just go back and look and see what it is that you've done and go from there. So now I'm gonna do my famous finagling. Now when you're doing this, make sure your needle goes down. I am checking as I go that my seams meet up perfectly. Perfect, I'm two or three steps after the, the process. There we go, so there we go, that's lined up perfectly. Brilliant. And now is where my finagle comes into its own. Now if anybody missed how I do this, if you go and watch my video from two weeks ago, you'll be able to see how it is I adjust these uh, when I did the borders and sashings. Um, it's a really lovely video there being able to show you very clearly how it is I'm do feeding that extra fabric in. So do go and recap that. That was the sashings and borders quilt on the, welcome, uh, the sashing and borders panel on the welcome quilt there. And then where I've done that, you'll see, when I fold this back, you'll see there's a little ripple, but it meets perfectly. You can see those meet perfectly there. And this is where my problem block was. And you can see there's a little ripple in it. You can just see that. Now, with some friendly persuasion, it's gone. <laughs> I don't suggest you thrust your iron quite so firmly on it, but you can tell that just, you can't even tell it now. You can't even tell. So don't worry, just go and enjoy it. And where you've made a mistake, I know what I did wrong there, just don't do it again. Don't ever beat yourself up about a block that isn't quite right. Now you'll do exactly the same thing to finish this off, um, getting the block together there. Just do exactly the same thing there, lining these points up, and hopefully that will be a fun, easy block for you to do. So what I'm going to recap now is exactly, oh, pardon me, <coughs> speaking for so long, I do apologise. Um, what you need to do there is you now need to just go through your um, panels and uh, patterns to see what it is that you're doing. So the first thing is, let me recap what it is that you're getting. We've got two different colorways today. We've got the rainbow colorway, which is this one over here. We've used a white background for that. So the rainbow panel and the instructions, this is the panel, these are the instructions. <clears throat> These are coming through for $7.99. Now, you're going to get the five fabrics on this panel, which will make up the block, but you are going to need some background fabric for this as well. The whole quilt will require two and a half meters of background fabric, so you can choose the color that you like. We've used white in our picture there, and we've used white in the, demonstra in the um, quilt behind us, so you can envisage what that looks like in white. We've also got available in cream and in black, so check the website for that. We've also got the blossom colorway so also you're getting the set of instructions and this blossom colorway here I've got it holding it upside down of course obviously so that is the wonderful panel that you're going to get again with both of these quilts whatever colorway you choose the background is entirely your choice you can then go through and choose whichever colorway you like we've done a couple on the we've chosen the different colors uh, we've done uh, three different colorways on the um, blossom panel 
So we've done the black, the panel there we were, where I was demonstrating it in black. We've got the two and a half meters of black available as a bundle. That is going to be two and a half meters of that for 17 pounds 45. So this fabric, the background fabric, that is all you need for the whole quilt. That is the sashings, the borders, the bits you need here for the triangles. This is two and a half meters. You do not need any more background fabric for the whole quilt. That is it, two and a half meters. You can buy those by the half meter as you go along. Check the website for that. We've also got available the white colorway. So if you want to do the white background, that's also going to be 17 pounds 45, 49. 17 pounds 45. So you'll see the, um, the rainbow colorway here we've done with a white background. So you can see it gets a really sharp, stark contrast there, which is great. Um, we've also got the cream colorway here, which we've done with our beautiful blossoms colorway. So this is the cream fabric you're getting. Two and a half meters of that will be 17 pounds 45. And that's all the background fabric you'll need for the whole quilt. And you'll see we've done this in cream with our uh, blossom colorway there as well. If you want to see the whole quilt in the black, I can just quickly show you that one as well. So you can see it's a very different quilt depending on what background fabric you choose. And the great thing is, is we've been able to bring that to you this time around and you can choose whichever colorway you prefer. Um, check the website for all the different colors that you might want. Um, two and a half meters is for the whole quilt. So if you don't want to buy them all on their, uh, as a two and a half meter piece today, you can go ahead and buy whatever size you like. You can buy them as half meters um, all the way through the project. Sorry. Oh yes, oh, it's hopscotch. I haven't even seen it yet, and they're keeping it as a secret so I can get all, it's all surprised about that. So we've got the wonderful Alice and Marion after the break, and we'll be back in a few minutes. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers Landing Page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the Watch Live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. Hello there, I'm Debbie Shaw and I would love you to join me on the first Monday of every single month for Sewing Street Surgery. Now this is a dedicated hour where I answer your questions and that could be questions about techniques, it could be questions about tools, it could be questions about new products or maybe something that you've seen that you just don't understand. There's a lot of questions about tensions on sewing machines and there's a lot of questions about working with different weights of fabrics. So if you have a question that you'd like to ask me, the easiest way 
way to bring a question over to us is to go to our Facebook page and post your question on there. I will collate all of those questions throughout the week. If we need any new products for you or if we need any new demonstrations, those will all be worked on leading up to that first Monday of the month. So do join me, Debbie Shaw, on Sewing Street Surgery on the first Monday. Hello, my name is Jenny McCreary and I am a guest designer on Sewing Street. A little bit of an introduction into me and who I am. I've got some questions here I'm going to answer. Um, what do I specialise in? Dressmaking, 100%. It's my favourite thing. Made this wee guy behind me here. I absolutely love it. Um, bikinis, underwear, dresses, hair accessories. Does that count as dressmaking? Maybe not. I love homewares as well, to be fair. I'm not an expert in homewares. I would say I'm an expert in dressmaking. Um, quilting is the one thing I do not do yet. There's still time. I'm really worried. I don't want to get into quilting because I know that it is, uh, there's just so much to it and I'll get I'll get right into it and then might leave dressmaking behind. I'm not really finished with dressmaking yet. So dressmaking is my thing. I got into sewing. This is quite a common one actually. It was for Halloween costumes. So I wanted to be the Tooth Fairy. My mum had a sewing machine, she knew how to use it, and I used it to make a tutu. That was the first thing I ever made. And then I realised I loved clothes, I loved fashion, and I then went on to study at university after school. So I studied fashion business, and now I do it for a job. What a dream. Something unexpected about me that is sewing related. Um, Probably back in 2011, I think it was, when the royal wedding was about to happen in April. It was Kate and Will's wedding. Um, a customer of the place I worked at the time challenged me to make the dress live. So nobody knew what the dress looked like and I made it in eight hours live while I was watching. So everyone else was having a nice wee day watching the royal wedding. And I was like sweating, it was roasting. Um, some newspapers came to watch as well. Yeah, that was interesting. I made it in eight hours. A uh, sewing tip that I would share with you guys, one thing that I share with my customers a lot is not to get too hung up on, on trying to learn everything. You will never, you will never know everything about sewing. It's impossible. There's so much new stuff happening all the time and new techniques and new tools and all that sort of thing. Um, just give it, a, give it a go. What's the worst that could happen? See, as long as you're using that fabric that's not like wild expensive, it's not going to be too much of a loss if it doesn't quite go to plan, then just give it a go. You'll learn so much just by giving things a go. Um, my claim to fame, that is a hard one. Oh, wait, obviously my claim to fame is being a guest designer on Sewing Street, right? That's it. I do actually tell people that all the time when they say, tell me something unusual about you. That's it. Um, another claim to fame, a sewing related one, I own the UK's only sewing tuition franchise. I suppose that's nice. No one else has that. Um, I've, I've done other TV before as well. I've done some game shows. Um, you can look it up if you want. I have done some game shows before. I love TV. It's great fun. I am looking forward to sewing with you guys soon on Sewing Street. Hi, I'm Rosie Wells. My name's Poppy and I'm a nutritional therapist. Hi, I'm Ruth Lynette and I can't wait to join you all on the brand new Gemporia Lifestyle channel. If you're a fan of primal living, you're going to adore what's around the corner. What is lifestyle? Lifestyle is healthy habits, feeling good, it's about looking great, making sure that we're taking good care of ourselves inside, and it's about the life that you lead and the home that you live in. All of this is why I'm so excited. We've got the most wonderful team. Homeware deals and primal deals under one roof on one channel. I can't wait to share this brand new channel with you. So we'll see you soon on Gemporia Lifestyle. Gemporia Lifestyle, coming soon to Freeview Channel 74 and Gemporia.com. Welcome back. 
It's Alison. Hi again. And hopscotch. I want to throw it at the wall, but it won't work. <laughs> <laughs> Alison, show me what you're doing today. Well, this hopscotch mat, I, several years ago now, made hopscotch mats for some family's children for Christmas. And obviously I appliqued all the numbers. Mm -hmm. And a while back, when the, um, the show just started really, Debbie had an alphabet panel. Yes, yes. Oh, and it was lovely, and it was They're really, lovely, really lovely colours. And I, I thought uh, numbers would make a beautiful hopscotch mat, and it would take away the need for the applique and everything like that. So I spoke to the powers that be, and this is what's happened. I and love I'm it. I'm thrilled with it. It looks lovely. It looks amazing. So that's yeah. a whole panel that we've it got is, today yes. as well as the yeah. kit. So we can show you what the panel looks like as a. Oh, it's all as one piece. It is, yeah. Oh my goodness, it's so much <laughs> easier. Love this, so. Oh, it's huge. Look how big this panel is. The hopscotch mat behind me is, it's over two meters. It's about two, 225. And you, you have to cut that quite, I've put it in the instructions. You mm -hmm. have to cut it quite carefully. So let's just see what we're getting. So you're getting the big panel there, that gorgeous big panel. Yeah. You're getting half a meter of the emerald. This so that's, is for your for your binding. Binding. that's for your binding and for your stone and for your stones the you, little bag that you use for throwing it's do you a good get the job i did well? a double bag because they was going to throw it against the wall <laughs> <laughs> and you, you're no, you don't the, get the pellets you don't get the pellets because no, you only need a cup but you need the pellets and so we'll come back them, to that yeah, so you'll have and then you're getting the wonderful set of instructions here of how best to do that so you're getting the panel the fabric and the instructions and look how big this panel is it's huge <laughs> absolutely gorgeous i love that and that the is twenty nine ninety nine. Oh, Alison, I'm very excited about this. Now you have mentioned that you're going to be able to make the bag that yeah, be made that out of your out half of meter of your green, um, and then you will need some pellets for that. So the pellets are sold separately. We've got these on the show today. Everybody's been waiting for pellets. I know for our door stops and everything. So anybody who's been waiting for the pellets for the door stops, they're back in. A kilo of these are five ninety nine. Really lovely pellets. These. So make sure you check those out on the website as well. And of course, you're going to need to back this. So I'm going to just try and I'm not going to fold that. <laughs> <laughs> it's too big. It's too big. And then we've also got these fabulous fleeces available. So this one is the yellow one. Yellow is lovely, isn't it? Now, when we do these, we're never quite sure what people want for their kits and how best to do them. So what we thought we'd do is we'd give you the kit for the front and then you can pick whatever size fleece you want or whatever color fleece you want. So this is the 11, this is the yellow one. Um, I can't quite get lean quite closely over, but you can see my hands there. <laughs> this is a huge piece of fleece here. I think this is what, how it's wide is this? 150. 150. You, you need 150 width. I'll explain that in a minute. So when these we get are to two, the panel. sorry to interrupt you there. That's right. I'll sorry. explain it when we get to Perfect. The so these are two ninety nine yeah. for the half meter. So you will need a meter in order to back your whole um, your whole panel. For this size, you need a meter and a half. Meter but, and a half. But yeah, there are options. Oh, so that's we'll fine. talk about meter that. and a half. Is fine. <laughs> so we've got the yellow available there. We've also got what I'm going to do. I'm going to be very silly. Like wait two seconds. I'm going to drape this here, <laughs> and I'm going to put this so you can see. So that's what the yellow looks like on the back of your panel. Then you've also got your navy. Have we called it navy? The navy there. Also two ninety nine. So a half meter of this by one point five. Um, that's going to be available. Then you're going to need a little more than half a meter, but we'll come back to that. Next, we've got our cream. If you're wanting to do. So all of the fleeces as well are very are anti pill as well, which is really important. It's lovely fleece. So you won't end up with any bobbles on the fabric mm. as well. It's really lovely. It feels beautiful it as well. It is lovely. I kind of just want to make myself a nice it's big not overly dressing stretchy. gown out of this yeah. as well. Then we've got the blue spot. Is it blue or grey? The blue polka dot fleece there. Also two ninety nine for the half metre. I actually think that works quite well. I like that, yeah. I like this. <laughs> I like them all. <laughs> I know, you can think. But the thing is, it's such a great price. Yeah. You could do many of them. <laughs> then you've got the pink polka dot there. Oh, I have to say, I'm, I'm putting my elbow on these and they're just so comfy. <laughs> I love these. So there we go. That's the pink polka dot. Also two ninety nine for a half meter. And then what's this, grey or black? This is the grey polka dot there. Really, really fun, all of those. So you've got these by the half meter. Love those. Can I just sit and cuddle them? <laughs> or should? 
And these are what arrived this morning at 6 15, 6 20 a.m. Yeah. this morning, <laughs> waiting at the door. The poor man is waiting to be get let in. So that's our panel. Then you're going to need the pellets, which we've spoken about, and the backing. Do you want to show us how to make that? Before we do I that, will. I'm just because I'm just oh, yes. being very naughty. I'm just going to pop the little Oriful quilters <laughs> thing there. I'm just popping it there. Just in case anybody wants to look on the website under Oriful, brand new today to Sewing Street. <laughs> Exclusive, all hours. Lovely colours Sorry, I'm going to stop there. That's fine. <laughs> so show me what you're doing today. Well, the reason we've got fleece is so that you don't have to have a, sa a quilt sandwich. So you don't need your cotton backing and your wadding and then the topping because it is quilted. It's like a quilted panel. Mm -hmm. So by having the fleece, it's it's um, doing away with one of the processes. Um, but if you could just hold out the panel. Of course. This one that I've done behind me is 2.2 something meters. And to do it this way, the way that's in the instructions, you need a meter and a half of the fleece. But you can, if you wanted to, lose some of the stripes in between and get it out of a meter, but I personally like it longer. And we all need to take a video of me teaching John how to do hopscotch, because he's never done hopscotch. I've never played hopscotch. <laughs> he doesn't never. know what it is. No. I <laughs> so think this will be that'll in be the, an interesting video to I watch. I think this will be the week of all the outtakes of John's funniest <laughs> moments on Sewing Street. It's been a week, it's been a week. I find the more tired I am, the more silly it gets. It's brilliant. Yeah. So, uh, if you are uh, what you're doing is you're on one foot picking up that stone so just to be aware. I'm going to die I can <laughs> see there's going to be a brain injury in this I'm not sure our insurance <laughs> covers that. <laughs> so the instructions in the um the set here you have to be really careful how you cut it out it is explained but just to say this is all you have left over Oh, wow. Okay. So, that, so read the other instructions. Than the, other than the other white salvages, obviously. But yeah, you do need to because what so you're going to do... So read the instructions, do, then read the instructions, then read the instructions yeah, again. Because on the other side, this part here, these panels here, you need to cut out for your... Ah... So you've got a panel here, you've got one number here, and another panel is going to go on here. So you're basically going to make up strips to go along with the single numbers, and then you have double numbers, and you don't actually cut those, all you do is you fold them, press it, and do a quarter inch seam, because you need to lose that little bit here. So you don't need to cut it, you just press it and do your quarter inch seam. That's a very good quarter inch seam as well. But what? not only that, I'm sorry, but you are very impressive with your little stripes perfectly lined up there. That's because they're not cut. <laughs> This is just folded, look. Oh my, I, I, no doubt I would still mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> because what you're doing on, on this here, look, you, you cut out this number, but you're cutting out half of that there. Uh, okay. So you're leaving this bit here with one. Linked. That's right, yeah. Right. So two and three is just one panel. Isn't that cheating? No. <laughs> 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 so that's just one panel. Uh, but this one you do add on the sides. But before I add that there, I need to just say quickly about the fleece because you need a 150 width fleece so that you can cut it down the lengthways and then you join it, the short edges together. So you've got a really long piece. Oh, that is very long, yes. So there's a diagram. And also what I do when I've got fleece is because it doesn't lay flat very well and you can't, obviously, it's plastic, isn't it? So you can't use a hot iron. I do sew down. Oh, that's clever. Sew down the edge because this is going to be underneath your fabric. So you don't want it to be... To be lumpy. All lumpy. Can I just ask, if you did a zigzag stitch on that, quite a wide zigzag, would that fix it? Um... Oh, no, because yeah, you're joining suppose, it as well. Yeah, you're joining it as well. I suppose it would, but I you wouldn't... Do no, just one in the middle because no. then the edges would still stick yeah. up. You could do it over there and that would hold it down. But it's not necessary really. I just did a, a straight one there. Perfect. And you don't need any special stitch. It's just a straight stitch. You don't need any walking foot or anything. No special oh, needle. Brilliant. 
So it's just set up and nice, go. Nice, simple, easy project. It's lovely. And I'm so thrilled because oh, very often lovely. the things that you see in your head Don't when you explain to page. people, you know, but yeah, it looks lovely. I'm really thrilled. And if I had longer, all these would have been quilted. <laughs> and, there, and I think that echoed around the outside. But as I said earlier, I like to hand quilt. I wouldn't do that on this because it's going to be on the floor and children mm -hmm. are going to be jumping around on it. So it really needs to be machine quilted, I think, because hand quilting, I don't think, would uh, be strong enough. But yeah, I think... But if you did hand quilt it, you could do it with a really thick twine of some kind. Yeah, and I suppose, I suppose if you were to um, do a knot every now and then mm. as, a, as a securing knot... To, yeah. But I'd use a thicker weight, maybe, yeah. maybe a... Yeah. 20, quite a thick twine. Perhaps I should take work. it back with me and, no. and finish it. Nope, nope, <laughs> nope. You have enough to do. All your patterns are so incredible. Get writing more of them. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a shock too. I know, you're doing really well. Yeah. Right, so now I've got my fleece. You don't have to do anything with it other than cut it and join it. There's no other prep. And you're going to work on the back because obviously the front of it is going to go down to the floor so we're going to work on the back now to do this I'm going to have to throw that fleece down the front all these bits you do get a lot in you there do, don't you yeah. so that's a meter piece well this is a bit that I had because it, it was so near the knuckle as to whether these were going to arrive on time. <laughs> this is a piece I had at home Perfect. and actually this is a bit stretchier than that so this will work Better. much nicer. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I have to say they've got great quality products. They're this is really my good. sewing room all over it too. That's wonderful. <laughs> so it's a quilt as you go because we're going to assemble the the strips and that's all you're going to do. You're just going to take the strips from the bottom here and then keep carrying on so okay. and you don't need any walking foot anything no like that. no this one I'm just gonna I didn't even use a walking foot for the stitch in the ditch oh brilliant because I suppose you haven't got three layers have you no, if it, so if it was two. a quilt yes you'd need you, the you've foot. got the middle one but I would love to see this as a quilt extended on a child's bed I think they'd have so much fun jumping around on their bed. <laughs> right. Ah, we're on quarter of an inch. That's good. Yes, yeah, so that's already on quarter inch. So yeah. You're lining up to the edge of your foot. Yeah. So there we go. I'm just going to, what speed and I uh, want a bigger stitch really than that. Let's have a two, four, eight, three. That's not a zigzag, is it? Uh, no, that's a normal straight stitch. Straight one. stitch. Okay. So that's all I'm going to do. Just going to do a quarter inch. Have you used the 680 before? It's, gorgeous, it's lovely, isn't it? yeah. There we go, so I'll just press that open. I think I disconnected the iron. Uh, no, I think it's back on. Did you put it back on? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> so I'll just set the... Same as quilting, it's just your... Setting your seam. Do you see And your then press too? into the. Yeah, Wonderful. always have done. That's back to my ladies in gate quilters and vestry quilters. You know, you, you remember these <laughs> you things, do. don't you? I ran a group a couple of years ago, and I always, every time somebody went to the, to the iron, I would holler from across the room, say your seams! Yeah. But so much so that a friend, uh, she, this lady brought her child with, and her child made this free motion little picture which said, Set your seams. Oh, lovely. It's very sweet. I've still yeah. got it hanging up in my studio there. I love it. Right. Now. So tell me how we do quilt as you go. I've never done quilt as you go. There we go. We're going to. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sew all the way around the outside edge. Okay. Just to anchor that one down. Bye. You might need to talk among yourselves while I do this. <laughs> no, no, because we all do it. That's good to see other people how they do it. See, the way you just mentioned there about this panel, as a quilt, 
I'm just looking at the I also thing. thought um, Sarah did one of those soft books, didn't she? she? Oh my gosh, yes. These would be lovely done as that. And you can as get really... the numbers. Yeah, you can get really big buttons. You couldn't do small ones, obviously, because no. there'd be a choking hazard. But you can get really big buttons and you could put the number Ooh. of buttons on and, and make it like a soft book. Oh, I'm having ideas now. This is the problem. Right, I'm just going to sew this. I'm, I'm not going to anchor it very Tom. much. So it's a bit of a... I hope this works situation. I'm hearing peep, the grey polka dot fleece is going really, really well. Oh, lovely. Loving that. It's a really good price. You can see I'm why. Look how beautiful that looks on the actual... It's really lovely. I won't deny, I actually would make a little dressing gown out of that. It'd be lovely, wouldn't it? It'd be yeah. lovely. Right, let's speed this up a little bit. Well, somebody in the building, oh, look, um, Alison, wants a pink dressing gown out of that. Oh, right. You know, you're very good yeah. at making lots of lovely things. <laughs> nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. We'll put the orders in, shall we? Oh, I hear, actually, that's very interesting. So the blue polka dot. Blue polka dot's just taken the lead. Oh, right. I love this when we hear th how things are going. How one minute one's winning and one minute's not. Can I just notice... She's not hanging about on that. Look at you. No, I haven't changed it. Have you had it on on full speed? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to rotate? You can turn it down if you need. No, it's all right. I do this like this. She's off. Yeah. I wish we could play I'm music. I'm hoping though. it's straight. I would normally pin it a little bit longer, but. Oh. Right, I'm doing this, and I'm. It's not at a quarter of an inch. I'm only anchoring this down. So it's not, uh, it's under a quarter of an inch. Okay. So you would normally go all the way round and anchor that down, but only on the first one. The, the next ones along, you don't. So this is where we're gonna go quilt as you go. So I'm just trying to make sure that that's Nice and flat. Flat underneath, really. Would you use one of the 404 or 505 sprays at You could point? do. That would probably make it a bit easier, actually. Good thing we got it as our early bird. Yes. I do need some, so yes, I will. Um, so this one's going to go on next. But you've got to make sure that when you're putting it on and you're joining it, you, you've got the bottom of this strip to the top of that one. So you need to I really put, want to ask right, how Yes, you know it's been upside down. <laughs> <laughs> and no one wants to unpick fleece. Not, not with it. Oh, it's horrendous. <laughs> it's not fun. It's not no. fun. Now, we've had an email in. Um, again, our little technical gremlins. It will be sorted in the next hour. Um, the fleece doesn't appear to be showing on the website. Uh, some of the fleeces don't appear. So the um, fleece is not appearing on the website at the moment, some of the fleeces. So please bear with us, that will come right in the next hour or so. What we're gonna show you now is the graphics of the fleeces, so you can make note of the um, reference numbers. So I can't quite reach all the way over Alison's head. So for the yellow fleece, you're gonna type in E for Echo, R for Romeo, L for Lima, J for Juliet, nine five, and that will bring it up. Um, that's for the yellow one. Just before we carry on with the next one, so all you're doing now is you're pinning I'm those together. I'm just pinning them right side to right side. And when you stitch down quarter of an inch? Yeah, this will start on quarter of an inch Perfect. and that's what you're going to and do. And you fold it back to so, check you've got it the right way around yeah, each time. do do that. <laughs> <clears throat> so the next one we've got available, we unfortunately might need to type the code, is for the navy uh, fleece there. So we've done the yellow. If you're looking for the navy, the navy code that you'll be typing in is H for Zoo H for Hotel, Z for Zulu, L for Lima, J for Juliet, 29. That's the code you'll type in for the navy. If you're looking to do the cream, and I'm going to have to get my bag of pellets, stay. If you're doing the cream, and you can tell how well the cream goes with that as well. And remember, these are all anti-pull fleeces. Really, really soft and lovely, these. If you're looking for the cream one, the code there is O for Oscar, R for Romeo, L for Lima, J for Juliet, 16. So that's the code you'll need to type in the search bar at the very top. If you're looking for the blue polka dot, that code which you're going to be typing in is going to be L for Lima, L for Lima, U for Uniform, L for Lima, J for Juliet, 7, 8. Um, and then, now that's the one that's in the lead at the moment, is the blue polka dot. Um, otherwise, if you want the pink polka dot, you will be looking for the code of C for... Oh, pink has just jumped in the lead. Oh. Let's see, before I even mention the code. 
So pink has taken the lead and the code for that is C for Charlie, L for Lima, L for Lima, J for Juliet, 08. Last but not least, we've got our initial winner, our grey polka dot. That's coming in with the code of F for Freddy, W for Whiskey, L for Lima, J for Juliet, 95. That's the code you're typing in. Can I just check, if we type in the word fleece, do they all pop up? No. Okay. Uh, so they are going to be fixed. Okay. The website is being updated every single moment. So thank you all for bearing with us during these times. We haven't got as many people in as we need. We're doing the very best we can. And thank you so much for bearing with us during these times. Really appreciate it. So you're almost at the end of your scene. I am, and I'm, although I've got my hand back here, I'm not actually pulling it, I'm only stopping it from moving. So it's not actually pulling the fabric. And I so, don't know whether people saw what I did with the fleece here that I'm working with. Oh, right. We'll do it on the next one. You didn't cut your thread, you need to put your foot down. I did, yeah. There you go. I actually rolled it up because we're working I've just had a thought. If you were to work from the top downwards... No, you'd still have that issue. You, would, you could do it at the middle, couldn't you? And then turn it round. And then you wouldn't have quite as much bulk to work with. Oh. If you went down... Yeah. Think over that is, one. Is, is there time to change the instructions? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is fine. <laughs> it works. All I did was I just rolled up exactly. the excess. Exactly, we all do. Anybody who's done any form of quilting knows you're just going to then roll the fabric yeah. and you're going to smush it in. <laughs> Somebody turned around and said, when they were doing quilting, she said, oh, I did a terrible quilt. I just smashed it through my Janome. And she was Ooh. putting it through the side. And when you see those quilts where they're all mashed up and oh, you've got this no. tiny little work area that you're working in and your shoulders are always up here. It's very fun to watch. But if I always say, if you're doing any form of quilting and your shoulders are up, it's time to stop, walk away, and go and have a cup of tea. Because the minute you're doing this, you're stressed and you're not having fun. Yeah. It's like driving. I get like that. I, I very often, when I'm driving, I think, oh, put your shoulders down. Because I'm not a natural driver. Oh, well, you're not. No, I don't like it, really. But I force myself to, because obviously Becky's down in Cornwall. You've got so a very, <laughs> very fancy car. <laughs> That's I my like dad's it. car. Is that your dad's yeah, car? Yeah, we've got a little golf. So it's, nice. it's lovely. Yeah. There we go. So I've just pressed that over. And that's what you do. That is it. All the way up to number 10. Oh. So, so you assemble your strips. <clears throat> and then just put them in one by one. But that's already, already on there quilted. That's brilliant. On this one, it's not absolutely necessary, but on this one I have stitched in the ditch here. Okay. Just, you know, if you've got children wandering around and jumping all over it, I, Make I, don't, think, yeah, I don't think for a minute it would slip because obviously fleece, and especially the back of the fleece, it's got quite a good hold. But yeah, Brilliant. that's basically it. I'll put the uh, number four on and then we'll go through what Perfect. we do with the... So the number four, you've got to put the sides on as well. Yeah. So if you can show so, people how that works, that might yeah. work. Well, that was, it's exactly the same exactly as the when same I put as that. So when on. you're cutting yeah. it off, you'll have the end sections and you'll yeah. just cut those in half. Yeah, but do <clears> look <throat> at the instructions about what to do with the panel because... Um, don't go and just cut straight across the panel from the top numbers right the way across because the panel on the end, Isn't. you need to use that and cut it differently to how it's printed. So it's quite important. The best thing to do really is just to cut out the two numbers that go together and cut out the single ones and then you're just going to assemble these to the single Perfect. ones. Perfect. But it is explained in the, in the instructions. So this one... It's just going to go on here the same, making sure that your fleece... Now, have you been doing this on the floor at your home? Because no. you need a big, nice no. big workspace No, I, I've got a nice cutting table Perfect. that I was doing it on, yeah. I've got images but, of yeah, it, Sylvia it having to lie be. on the floor getting the stuff. That's upside down. Check when... <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't know whether I should be unkind there. and say to you, <laughs> no, it's fine, and then have to watch you unpick it. <laughs> so I'll just put those in. I 
I think the, <laughs> the only issue when um, the families had these was the arguments with the children who was going to go next. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Right. So I kind of I feel bad saying this. this so am I going to see you in the parking lot after this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing your stone. <laughs> I'm going to throw my pellets at you. <laughs> but these are really good as well for stress balls as well. I think that's really quite good as yeah, well. Yeah, juggling. I watched a TV program once where it was some part of somebody's therapy. They were dealing with anger management and they made balls like this and yeah. they had to throw them at the wall. Oh, not a oh, people. Not who was making them stressed. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Excuse me while I go and get my little pellet ball. But what they did is they, did it, they threw it against the wall in order to relieve stress. And yeah. they had a whole bucket of them and then threw them against a brick wall. They don't damage anything, but they yeah. got all their frustrations out. And I thought, what a clever idea for people who are having problems. Well, that's why when I was making it, I was going to say make sure that you make two of them and put one inside the other so that you've got the seam at the top of that and and the seam of the outer one to protect to, it yeah if you are going to throw these on the wall maybe but put I, three that was in because there. of children not because of stress <laughs> management <laughs> Now, I know I should be watching you, and I'm sorry, but I've opened the quilter's collection. <laughs> These are so beautiful. <gasps> Look what at that purple. Orophil. Hmm. There we Look go. So we'll just purple. set that seam again and then turn that out. Look at that beautiful, purple. isn't it? Burgundy. Yeah. Orophil. They're quite autumny colours, aren't they? Beautiful. I've got a lovely autumn quilt Nothing on to my see here. sofa. Yes, that's not, not till Nothing yet, to John. See. Nothing to see. <laughs> there we go. And then I'm going to fold that one up. It's upside down. I'm aware I'm sticking my tongue out. I do that when I'm sewing and they're going... <laughs> I don't think until you pop your tongue out when you're doing any form of sewing, no one believes you're into it. <laughs> oh, I'm not the only one that does it then. Constantly doing oh, it. Oh, fabulous. <laughs> I'm pleased about that. So there we are. We've got number one, number two, three and four. Brilliant. So you just carry on. But as I said, if you wanted to do it smaller, all you would have to do is to cut out these two here and join the numbers closer a together. Bit close together. Yeah. But the so if you were doing a, a stitch in your ditch now, so if you were doing between two yep. and three, you would literally just sew between the two. Yeah, I'm gonna do that now. Oh right. wait. Yep. Look at me jumping ahead. So I did these ones here and also these ones here. So I'll I'll do this one and that'll hold it all down together. And then once you've once you've got it all assembled, you cut down the outside. Now with oh, this, would you do a locking one. stitch at the beginning? Yeah. Or if you haven't got a locking stitch on your machine, just do a couple of stitches. Yeah. Return. Oh, I might slow it down for this one, else I'll be all over the place. See, that's what's so great about the 680 and the 720 and the 780. It's so quiet, You've got that lovely it? wide throat space and you've yeah. got so much light in there, you can see exactly where you're going. Well, I hadn't thought about that, but yes, it is very it light, is. yeah. Because the lights on these machines are incredible. Not only the quality on them and the stitching, but it, the lights on them are so good. Oh, I'm hearing we've actually sold out of the 720s. Mm. Got mine just in time. Have you opened it yet? Nope, still not open. I haven't had time. 
Because um, Sarah came on the other day and she was so good. She turned around and she said, she, during lockdown, she's been able to read every single page oh, of her manual. Oh, I know, manual. I saw that. And I was like, you lucky lady. How does, I would love to just sit down and have a cup of coffee with um, my husband. Yeah, I'm not a bit like that, really. I'm terrible because it's like with sewing. I know you really should do lots and lots of practice and you see people advise people to get a piece of paper and practice a straight line. That's not me. Boom, that's it. If it works, it works. Exactly. Yeah. I love it. I've just had, heard on talk back a question. What's a manual? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will precisely. not say who it was. Yeah. <laughs> I do get the manual out occasionally. I can't think what... Oh, it was when I was doing the um, free motion on that just to see which setting the machine should be on. But <laughs> apart love from it. that... It's like when I first started quilting, I went and the lady said, you want to start with something simple, we'll give you a nine patch. So you start off with a nine patch and you do this and you do this. And Lovely, yes, that worked perfectly. Then I made my mum and dad a king size quilt out Obst. of a... Uh, Obst. Yeah. My first <laughs> quilt was a king size quilt as one. Well. Yeah. And I had a 79 pound little Janome machine yeah. and it went through, it yeah. was awful. I, I, well, yeah, I just like to get in there and go and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Exactly. So, it's only fabric. Yeah, that's right. Brilliant. Are you going to show us how to make this bag? Yeah, I'm just going to cut this brilliant. off a minute and show you that you've got about 15 minutes left. Oh, brilliant. That's easy then. Oh, look, I've cut through the stitch. No, about 12 in there. minutes left. Taking your time as you cut. Oh, so it's that simple. You just trim down this the side. This is it. Yeah. I'll just cut that off. So we've got this here. So you've got your, you've already, you're already quilted on the back and I would have um, done the quilting on this join as well. So you've got a two and a half inch strip and you're just going to bind it like we did with the um, tea cosy, you're just going to bind it like a quilt exactly. and then turn it over. So if I do that and we'll mitre the corner. I think just post it to Sylvia. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> She's somewhere in Wales. Wishy, she's on holiday, lovely. She's on holiday. I don't know how she had her leave At least you can get approved. into Wales now. Indeed. Well, she, she created this holiday leave form. I don't quite know who approved hers, but there we go. <laughs> With the lockdown in Leicester, I was... Um, I messaged um, Catherine to, you know, the Leicestershire Craft Centre. You know, is it going to affect you? And luckily it hasn't because she's in Market Harbour. So. so that's just a standard quarter inch down the side, lining yep. up your raw edges with your raw edges. And I'm going to get to a quarter of an inch. I will lock this one. I would too. <laughs> now, depending on my mood. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm just busy putting that. <laughs> Sometimes I go off and um, do a... A little stitch over there but it's not absolutely necessary. I always do. Always the, do you? Always. I leave my needle down and then go off the point. Ah right point. yeah. So if we go up off the corner. Perfect so you can see where your right hand is you've lined that up yeah. with the outgoing there and then and the left. turn it down. Perfect. I'll put a stitch on there because it's it's quite bulky and it yeah. might pull it out of place. I don't normally pin it, but so you've you've sewn to the quarter inch of this end, then you've turned your fabric back, leaving your angle, your mitre angle in there, and we're gonna sew down. And if we keep our fingers crossed, <laughs> get a lovely mitered corner. Do you sew all the way down yes. from the top? Yeah. I know some people sort of try and find the quarter there, don't they? Sylvia hasn't complained yet, so I'll keep doing what I'm doing. <laughs> there we go. Wonderful. So there we go. And you hopefully, when you turn over... There's no hopeful about it, it's <laughs> perfect. You get a nice little mitred corner and that goes all the way round all the way around the outside of the quilt. You can, if you wanted to, make a wider binding 
or as Shouldn't I said, really you could to. no, or you could turn it into a quilt. I just, I've just got this thing in my head, this picture of children bouncing all over their beds and throwing Love these it. things. <laughs> but yes, you're going to be a fun right. grand, aren't you? <laughs> So right. you're going to make one of these for me? I am, yes. I'm going to make two of the packets right. because you need to do them so that you've got the security of it not actually splitting everywhere. Especially when someone like me is playing with them all playing the time. <laughs> so we're going to take, I'll do a lock-in stitch there and I'm going to take a quarter inch all the way round. Do you want me to? Sorry? <laughs> no, they said, uh, don't throw it at Alison. <laughs> oh, oh, God, do you want me to? <laughs> So you're going to sew round three sides, mm -hmm. leaving uh, the fourth side completely open. So you can stuff it. Yep. Because the inside one you don't really mind about. Would you do that for both of them? Yeah, do them exactly the same. Perfect. So we'll do that. And you do the locking stitch at the end of each one. Yeah. Perfect. Just clip off the the corners, not too close, just to take the bulk away. Normally, I'd give this to you to do, but I uh, can't. No, current, current conditions, <laughs> you're not allowed to. So I'll just do this one. Yeah, with Wendy, Again. I was going to help her with her demonstration, but obviously couldn't. It's the... awful, isn't it? I won't say anymore. People don't come on here for horrible things like that, do they? <laughs> Oops. Get in there. Watch pot never boils, isn't it, when you're waiting for something like that? <laughs> so I'll cut the corners off of this one as well. Turn that one inside out. There you go. Now why would you turn that one inside out if it's going to be on the inside? Because it's tidy. <laughs> <laughs> I why would not you? be turning that inside out. Now I would be <laughs> oh, top stitching no, on the outside. Would... Oh no, why if it splits, it people would say, look, they didn't do that properly. <laughs> Right. Oh my goodness, look the at pellets. that! You want about about a cup. I'm a gonna ramekin put, full. I'm going to put that in there now. I'll do a bit more than that. Probably two. You can tell I'll you've do done it, this before. I'll do it in the bag so it doesn't go all over the floor. There These pellets are amazing though, aren't they? They're brilliant, yeah. So, that's it done. What you're going to do to make your pyramid is you're going to join seam to seam but we're going to fold that over first because this one I will sew I hand stitched my did. outer one of course she did <laughs> now I wondered I've always clip. wondered this if you folded that in oh, and in. you did a zigzag stitch on the outside with a, almost like a couching stitch yeah that would that work that should catch it shouldn't yeah, it yeah that would work what you what you have got to do no, I'm back to pins again what you have got to do on this First one especially. Did you, did you change your mind halfway pellets. through? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you keep it's your pellets bit, at the bottom. Because yeah. if you don't, so, you're going to get one caught in your machine. You don't, you don't want you that. You really, I, ask me how I know that. <laughs> <laughs> Needles don't like four pellets. Four minutes left, three, yeah. four minutes left. Needles don't like pellets at all. So I can take those out now. Rather than a lock stitch, I'm going to reverse on this one to make sure that it goes right to the edge. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. that's going to be quite come out. interesting, trying to get that little wadge of pellets through there. Oh, it does, there. it does. Look at you smushing it, it down into <laughs> submission. <laughs> this is where I find I haven't caught the back. <laughs> <laughs> 
the I pallets want to ask, go all over the want studio. I want to ask you how you know, but I think I'm <laughs> Yeah, gonna... all over the floor of the studio. Right, once you've gone past, you can then let the pellets through. So this is all made out reverse. of the half metre of the green that, that comes you've out of the, Yeah, because you cut out your two and a half inch strips for your binding. And then the rest is more and then than the enough rest, to make that. Yeah. How many bags can you make? Oh, gosh, what, out of what's left? Mm. No idea. <laughs> Depends how big a bag you want. That's this, true. Yeah, I mean, you can make them bigger, you can make them smaller. Right, so this time, on this one, this um, sewn bit is going to go to the... To the bottom. To the bottom, yeah. And then that is going to go in there. So you're making sure you don't catch the other bag when yeah. you do this, because you need that internal bag yeah, loose. to be free. I was just going to break into Queen Song then. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. We have to pay a royalty. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know how much that is. Right. Shall I You can sing this it, but you or? can pay for it. Then. How's <laughs> <Yeah>. that? <laughs> I think you should top stitch this. I was going to so say, I will you. top stitch it, but that. that um, Do you want to try the zigzag? I don't know whether I. Now this is there. Yeah, we'll get it through, I think. How do I do the zigzag? That's that width there, um, is it? No, that's no, single. No, that's straight. Oh, that's, that's the um, stitch length. So on the side oh, of the machine, one. I think there's. Isn't a, that stitch length? Do you see where the you see there's a, where the fast and slow button is? No. No. Ah. There you go. Just look at the pictures. <laughs> Be interesting to see whether there's. You can only give it a go. If it works. doesn't work, it's it's fine. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. You've got three minutes. <laughs> Can I get? Oh yes, it will. It will squish down enough. How are you feeling about my suggestion of doing your zigzag couch? Um. Oh, shall I just not talk to you while yeah, you don't? Yeah, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> Oh yes, I suppose that pellet thing, you've got to watch out for that. Yeah. There we go. I love playing with these things, I need one. Now I think we should clear the top. Oh, the ceiling's too low. Can't get John up on the top learning hopscotch. <laughs> <laughs> Alison, I can safely say it has been two decades since somebody asked me to stand on a table <laughs> for any reason. There you go. That's brilliant. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> That's all right. I saw your anti-back before you came on. <laughs> yeah. That is really good. Yeah, so I mean... Oh, and that you can stitch do... does work. Yeah, the back of it isn't... The tension needs sorting out if I'm going to do that because the back doesn't look that good of the stitch. You would never you do see? that. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I love but, that. Yeah, I must admit, I like the hand one. And I, like it I said, I different. think... You can see that the difference between the hand and the yeah. thing there. It does definitely look different. But if it's for children and they're exactly. just going to throw them they around... Don't mind. And eventually throw them at each other, <laughs> which they probably will. <laughs> Shall I just have that panel and, of and, and go through again about the cutting? Because I would hate for people to get the panel... And if they're going to do this, they might be doing do you want it to a nice back because I touched yeah. that. Oh, well, Look. better. Um, yeah, when you get it, don't get it and then just think, oh, I'm going to cut all the way along there and cut across the... That's an awful lot. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have anything to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> but we're being safe. That's right, and that's we're what We're doing it's the about. best we can. Yeah. So... When you get it, don't think, oh, I'll just cut all the way along there and I'll cut all the way along there because this piece, this panel needs to stay intact because you've got to cut out the pieces to go for along so the sides. So what's the best way of cutting this? So obviously it's in your pattern. Yeah, you're going to cut off down this so section So it goes all the here. way so to all the bottom. The way down. So it'll be 
this yeah, purple line you can here. Go, yeah, you can go down that one as well. So yeah, that purple line. So from this purple line here, yeah. and if you then tap your fingers at the top of it where it yeah. is. Oh, here. There we go. So you're cutting that panel yeah. off there, that straight line panel. You're cutting because, that all off in one go. Yeah, because you're going to have panels here and the ones at the bottom there are just enough to get your panels here. So you're going to cut that one first and then you're going to cut this yeah. one second. You're going to cut these off on That's their it. own. So we're then, just before 10, you're cutting across that line, you're cutting it down there. So you get this bit section first, then you're getting this bit, sorry, this bit first, that long line there first, then that section second, then That's you can it. cut your numbers out. And then you're going to cut, because these ones, one, four and seven are the single numbers. So, and the 10. And the 10. So you're going to cut halfway, which I think is two and well, a half Well, it's, it's, you're following this line. Yeah, that's right. So it's going to go halfway along there. Perfect. And they're going to be your single ones, and these ones are going and to be... And then those are double. You'll be cutting between the purple and the red all the way through. Uh, yeah, along there, yeah. Yeah. If, if this little bit had been that side, not thinking about it far enough ahead, but if that bit had been that side, you wouldn't have had to have worried, because that would have been your first piece that was already assembled. But uh, yeah, so if you get it, don't just go cutting them off. Perfect. So this is the panel. We've got Alison holding one end, me holding the other. We <laughs> have <big>. antibacterialized. <laughs> so look how huge this piece is. It's absolutely enormous. So while we're doing this, we can just then, you can see this is the panel that you're going to need. So if I let Alison keep holding that for oh. as long as your arm can shall hold I, it. Shall I have it over here? Are you going to show you'd the like, fleece Yes, now? we've both anti backs so we are doing the best we can. You've also got the half a meter of the green and you're getting all your instructions available. So the panel, the half meter of green oh and the instructions, <laughs> keep going, keep going, one step more, there we go. <laughs> and you've got the panel, the instructions, and your half meter of green, that's gonna be $29.99 then today. If you are looking to get some pellets for your, um, for the, Stones. Stress balls, things. I love them, I yeah. love them. If you are, we've got these back in stock. They have sold out so many times, so we keep getting in as many as we can. These are available for $5.99 today, so do get those as well if you need them. Um, and then if you want to back these, there are several different fleeces for you to back these with. We'll start with the yellow. Now, we have been having a few issues with our website today, so you might need to type in the code. So the code at the moment for the yellow is E for Echo, R for Romeo, L for Lima, J for Juliet, 95. Otherwise, call lovely. the call center. They'll be able to help you with that. These are 2 dollars for a half meter. So if you want to leave the panel the size that it is and you want to do it, um, not make it smaller, you need a meter and a half of this uh, fleece in order to make the the panel as big as it's on the wall, isn't it? A meter and a half. Yeah, but if so you, that's if the you yellow. miss out this bit here, and join the numbers together, it'll be considerably shorter. So, you know, you need but if you wanted, I would, it's your call entirely, That's but right. we would prefer, yeah. we, well, we've, I love that, I think it's brilliant. So, That's metre you and a half you'll need if you're going to do it that size. Yeah. If you want the navy, remember these are all anti pill. The navy, you're going to need to type the code in on the website, unfortunately. The code for that is H for Hotel, Z for Zulu, L for Lima, J for Juliet, 29. Again, 2 99 by the half metre. If you want to do it the size that we've got, that's a metre and a half. If you want the cream, also anti-pill, all of them are the anti-pill variety. The code for that is O for Oscar, R for Romeo, L for Lima, J for Juliet, 1, 6. So that's two ninety nine for the half meter as well. Now the blue polka dot was in the lead. It's fallen behind at the moment. We've got the blue polka dot there. The code for that is L for Lima, U for uniform, L for Lima, J for Juliet, 7, 8. I'm hearing the pink is officially in the lead at the moment. So the code for the pink polka dot is C for Charlie, L for Lima, L for Lima, J for Juliet, 0, 8. Also two ninety nine for a half meter. That's also the anti pull as well. And you're going to need a meter and a half line. if you're going to keep <laughs> it the same size. The grey polka dots was in the lead. It's now, I think the the grey is in the second or is it in third? The grey is in third at the moment, and that's coming in also two ninety nine for a half meter. And the code you'll need to type in for that is F for Foxtrot, W for Whiskey, L for Lima, J for Juliet, five nine. 
We've had a wonderful load of products there. Now, the last time I had the lovely Alison on, we had her absolutely stunning <laughs> apron pattern. And then you had this exclusive to Sewing Street edition as well, which was the Mummy and Me Crossback Apron Pencil Pocket Edition. These were fabulous and they sold so, so well the last time we had them on. So what day was minutes, that? Wasn't it? Was it? Oh. What day did we do that? Does remember. anybody remember? It was last week sometime. Well, it was two weeks ago, but wasn't it? And ago. it was on a Saturday. So it was two weeks ago, two weeks Saturday. Saturday. What date yeah. was that? You'd think I'd remember, wouldn't you? The 4th. Fall. It was the 4th oh, of July. Oh, yes, because it was Debbie's birthday. That's right. Yeah. No, Debbie uh, was on Debbie's the 5th, on the, the day before, yeah. yes. Yeah. So on the 4th of July, if you want to catch up on our YouTube channel, the demo on it, this sold out in 10 minutes. We have only... <laughs> How many have we got left? Right, we restock these today with the same quantity that we did on the 4th of July show. There are two left. Oh. We haven't even mentioned them and there are two left. So I oh think you goodness. need to have a ch chat with the ladies upstairs. Yeah, we need to I'll get a few upstairs. more of these in. <laughs> they are so popular. Do watch the 4th of July show. It was a brilliant hour. I think we did this at the 8 o'clock hour, didn't yes, we? Yes, we did, yeah. So it's the first show on the 4th of July. Go back and check yeah. that out. You're getting this wonderful exclusive Sewing Street pattern in addition to the wonderful apron pattern it is a stunning crossover pattern really really detailed great great product only two left anybody wants it just type in the code that you've got there mummy and me apron really really lovely i, I, I will, was very lucky i got one uh, i will say that uh, someone said to me you haven't put what fabric on there to use that's because it's entirely up to you it can be i've had someone do one in a, a sweatshirt material and it works Ooh. so you know you could do one in chiffon if you like, it'd be interesting, but it. you know, it, it's not just specifically for a woven, Wonderful. although a woven is Works really, really well. easy to make. So, <laughs> um, you know, a beginner would easily make it in a woven, but if you're used to using oh, um, sold out. anything else. Sorry, it's gone. Can't <laughs> even keep them in stock. We have literally had them checked in this morning and they're gone. So you need to go and have a chat with right. them upstairs. You need to print them more. Yeah. You've got to do more. Well done. Yeah. Alison, as always, you are amazing. You we adore having you. Thank when you. have we got you back in? Um, Christmas. <laughs> Christmas. And in case you didn't know, we have Christmas in, in July. July. <laughs> yes. I have already started my Christmas shopping. I've already started. I love it. I love Christmas. You're sending everyone hopscotch mats when you know I what they are. I've got, my brain has been ticking through this whole show on how to do that. Alison, it was lovely Thank to have you. you. Thank you so much for coming through. We've got a wonderful hour next coming up. Bear with us. We'll be back in a few minutes. Hi there. My name's Alison Marion and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also a plique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember, but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon. Hello there, I'm Debbie Shaw and I would love you to join me on the first Monday of every single month for Sewing Street Surgery. Now this is a dedicated hour where I answer your questions and that could be questions about techniques, it could be questions about tools, it could be questions about new products or maybe something that you've seen that you just don't understand. There's a lot of questions about tensions on sewing machines and there's a lot of questions about working with different weights of fabrics. So if you have a question that you'd like to ask me, the easiest way to bring a question over to us is to go to our Facebook page and post your question on there. I will collate all of those questions throughout the week. If we need any new products for you or if we need any new demonstrations, those will all be worked on leading up to that first Monday of the month. So do join me, Debbie Shaw, on Sewing Street Surgery on the first Monday. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. That's the same, me back. <laughs>
My favourite piece of kit with the sewing is the seam with that. Hello, I'm Janice from Birmingham. I specialise in dressmaking. I used to run a children's shop and I love making children's clothes. My mother encouraged me to sew from an early age. When we were young, we did dressmaking in school. My claim to fame was the sewing quarter, but I'm now making also jumpsuits for the ladies and men of all shapes and sizes and it seems to be going for the festivals around the country. See you on the show! Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalog by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. Hello, my name is Fiona Hesford and I'm founder of Sew Girl. I'm based down in Worthing on the south coast of England. And I've got a range of sewing patterns which I've developed over the last few years, which are projects for loose fitting clothing, everyday simple garments, things that I really love to wear myself. And I'm going to be bringing you them to Sewing Street over the next few months. So I look forward to seeing you then. Bye. Hi, I'm Rosie Wells. My name's Poppy and I'm a nutritional therapist. Hi, I'm Ruth Lynette and I can't wait to join you all on the brand new Gemporia Lifestyle channel. If you're a fan of primal living, you're going to adore what's around the corner. What is lifestyle? Lifestyle is healthy habits. Feeling good, it's about looking great. Making sure that we're taking good care of ourselves inside. And it's about the life that you lead and the home that you live in. All of this is why I'm so excited. We've got the most wonderful team. Homeware deals and primal deals under one roof on one channel. I can't wait to share this brand new channel with you. So we'll see you soon on Gemporia Lifestyle. Gemporia Lifestyle, coming soon to Freeview Channel 74 and Gemporia.com. Welcome back. It's so lovely to have you. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm full. Oh, I love these. 
brand new, exclusive to us. They literally arrived yesterday afternoon and I saw the packet and I was like, I adore these. The colors are amazing. Now I'm gonna bore you, I don't care. These are so beautiful. I can't wait to show them all to you. Oh, look at these colors. And the great thing that I love about these is when we've got these gorgeous shots on these cameras, you can see that glorious shine on them. Oh, the sheen on it. Just look at this glorious sheen. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm putting them the wrong way around. I'm gonna put them over here. I love them. This might be my favorite. Look at that. It's just like molten silver, like that mercury look on it. Absolutely beautiful. That just looks like the color of a really good red wine. I know, speaking of wine this early in the day, I apologize. Oh, of course it's Kat's birthday. We can talk about wine all day. Oh, hang on, something's gone wrong here. Someone's been playing with this ball. There we go. There we go, that would have been Oh, I see what's happened. Right. There we go. Loving these. Now look at these. Now I'm going to arrange these in a little order for you. What I would be doing, so that is my favorite one. So I know I would be quilting with that one because that color just pops really well. Now the second color that actually most people don't know, that is the second most popular color for quilting. It's really good, but the gold, these are the colors that I would usually quilt with because they just beautifully, beautifully show up for whatever work you're doing. They are really, really lovely. But then equally, oh, look at this one. Oh, wow, I love this purple. It's like a deep burgundy. But look at that blue. So these would be my quilting ones. These are the four that I would save for my quilting because they just quilt so beautifully. The quality of these, these are all 50 weight. They're 200 meters on each of these spools, which is a nice weight to be able to be doing any form of quilting, any form of embroidery, especially if you're doing dense quilting which I love doing a lot of really dense quilting. This thread works so, so perfectly with that. Really, really good. Now, all 10 of these today are $33.99. Such great quality, such great price. Now, all of these are completely exclusive to Sewing Street. If you did want the um, color numbers, let me get those to you now. So what I'm going to do, actually, should we do this on the overhead? As I said that, they said we'll do this on the overhead. This is called aluminium. Look how beautiful that is. That is beautiful. Look at that. So I'm going to move this over here so we can get these in order. So that's the aluminium. Then we've got, and that one's number 2615. Then we've got the light beige, which is 2310. But you see beige, most people think beige is a really dull color, but look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. Then we've got the yellow. Oh, look how beautiful that is. They've called it yellow. That's number 2140. Really, really lovely. Then we have the olive, that's our next color there, which is called, and it is perfect that, isn't it? Just look at the shine. Really beautiful that. So the olive there, it's number 2910. Then we've got, oh my goodness, how is this not the best name ever for a thread? Golden Toast. Isn't that just the most perfect name for a thread? Which is number 2930. Then we've got Bark. Oh, wow, look at that. It's like a really gorgeous chocolate, that. Beautiful, and that one's number 1140. Then we've got Dark Carmine Red. Oh, I love that. But you see, when you put them all together there, isn't that just the most beautiful autumn colorway there? Sorry, my just getting all the labels going the right way. Beautiful autumn colors there. Then we've got the Midnight. Oh wow, look at that midnight. That just pops so beautifully there. You can see that beautiful rich blue, but equally look at that shine. Gosh, that's gorgeous. And then we've got the dark eggplant. Oh, hang on, I think I got these mixed up. I did, I'm so sorry. Our dark carmine red is that one. That's our dark carmine red, apologies. And then this one is the dark eggplant. 
and that one's colour number 1240. I just wish you could, s oh there, look at that deep purple on there, it's beautiful. Absolutely adore that. Then we've got our black, which is 2692. Um, and it got partly unwound, unwound in the box when I was playing with it yesterday. Sorry about that. But what I love is when you look at them that way, doesn't that just look like the most beautiful autumn combination of colours? And again, those would be the four that I'd be doing most of my, probably five actually, I'd be doing all my quilting with. And then these, any form of piecing, because what I do is with my threads, I separate them out and I've got an embroidery bundle, I've got a quilting bundle, I've got my piecing bundle. And these, even these would be, that blue is just mesmerising. And the great thing with any of these aurifils, it's really good for piecing because it's really, really strong. I'll show you on the black thread. It's just really, really strong. You can give it a good old tug and it's not going, oh, just broke there. But it's that's how the pressure you've got to put on it to actually get it to break. It's a really, really strong, robust cotton thread, this. And it's 100% cotton because a lot of people don't like working with a the polyester. They prefer working with 100% cotton. Um, and it just gives it, it's got a much softer feel to it as well. It's not quite as sharp as using a polyester. And the great thing with this is the more that you use the thread and you're putting into an embroidery or into a densely quilted uh, design, all the sheen that you've got on all of these threads, look at that. You can just see the sheen on that beige coming through and you know when you put that onto your quilt or when you're able to see it when it's really close together and stitched, that will come out really, really well. And it's just such a beautiful, beautiful colorway. And the more I'm looking at it, I keep changing my mind. I do think these two are now actually might be my favorites, which is this midnight blue. That is just absolutely mesmerizing to me. And this eggplant, I absolutely, I think those are, these are three that I would, the five I would definitely use for my quilting. And these are the top colors that I do in my quilting. There's a color that I use called prickly pear, which is this color. And it's actually the most sold color in all the quilter, of all the long arm quilters. Prickly pear is the one that we can never get because it's always sold so much. And I'd, ironically, green and gray work incredibly well on most quilting projects because they just blend in all the other colors so perfectly but this midnight blue oh my goodness I think I would just keep it to stare at it it's so beautiful so these are all brand new and exclusive to Sewing Street today. All 10 of these are 200 meters. They're all 50 weight. So 50 weight's perfect for any form of piecing, any form of embroidery, any form of, uh, even for hand sewing. This is really, really good for hand sewing as well. So if you're doing a hand sewing project, these are perfect because it's also really nice to work with as well. If you are gonna be doing our hand sewing, make sure you check out our beeswax that we've got as well, because it just makes your thread go through your projects a lot easier with that as well for the hand sewing. Really stunning, stunning collection here. And not only are you getting these wonderful threads, you're also getting this wonderful little presentation box. Because what I love is you've got the little presentation box and you put them down, you keep it for that special project, that special occasion, you pop it back in the box. And as I said to you in the previous show, all my UFOs I've got in a, a little bag. So if I know I've got a special project for the colors, I take these and I put them in the little bag with me so I know I've always got the thread ready to go. So that's available today, $33.99. You can see why I was so excited about it. I've been mentioning it to you since eight o'clock this morning. Such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful collection there. Love those. So make sure you check out on those, brand new and exclusive to us today. And we're gonna leave it just there, so it'll see you all through the day. Now we have got some phenomenal fabrics today. One of the most asked for fabrics in my shop is white on white, cream on white, white on beige. These are wonderful, the combinations. Well, let me first show you how much you're getting. So each one of the half meters in the white on white collection I'm about to show you is that big. So that's how much you're getting. It's half a meter by 42 inches, which is 112. But the detailing on these is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Is that not just the most beautiful, beautiful combination there? We're just gonna get a little bit closer. Right. 
I'm now hearing, so if you're looking on the website, this is what you're getting. This is exactly what you're getting. Because white on white doesn't photograph very well, what they've done on the website is some of the images you'll see have got a black outline on them. That's to show you the design. It's not going to be black for you. This is what you're getting. It's 100% white on white. You don't have a black outline on it. It's just that when you photograph things, and a lot of some people don't see that very clearly on the photographs, we want to make sure that we outlined it for you so you could be able to see exactly what the image was. So this is exactly what you're getting on the picture on the website. It might be completely wrong um, compared to this, but it does then show the... Um, the, the, the design that you've got on there. We're having a little technical difficulty with our cameras, so bear with us for a few moments. Um, shall I put my finger on it? Would that help? We're going to try this with a finger. Shall I put a back of a mobile phone cover? Perfect. There we go. We were having the camera didn't quite know where to focus at that point, but look what I mean about how beautiful it is. So I'll put my hand there so you can see a scale. Oh, no, that doesn't like it. Camera doesn't like that. What I'll do as well, just to put a, a ruler on so you can see the size of it, because I think it's important that you always look and see the size of it. But look at that. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful colorway there. Really, really good. Now, it, is, it does appear a bit dark there. Um, it is just because of the camera, but you can see, there we go, there you go, you can see that perfect white on white there. It's really, really hard to show you white on white, so that's why we're having a, why the website's got those um, outlines on it, but you can see it's completely white on white, and so, so beautiful that, really, really lovely. Oh, can I do that now? Oh, can I do that? Okay, sorry. So, the great thing about talkback is people talk in the background and you listen to them and you think, oh, that's such a good idea. And Kat, it's a birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Kat. Um, drop a message as well onto the Facebook page, which Kat, which Kat, happy birthday. These colours, look on here. Look at that. Can you imagine doing any form of free motion on this quilt, uh, on this fabric? Isn't that just genius? Look at that. But it just shows those orifices so beautiful. Do you see what I mean about the, that um, aluminium? Look how beautifully. Now, if you're doing any form of quilting, you wouldn't have thought of using those colors for quilting, but look at that. Doesn't that yellow, that, got, that yellow works so beautifully on this thread. And if you want to see as an individual thread, this is what I mean. Look at that. Got that beautiful gold line on there. Or as if you're wanting to do the gold. And you see as a single strand, it isn't quite as intense a color, but they really, really work. But you can imagine building this up on your, th on your um, uh, quilting or your embroidery. So if I put a whole combination of that green together, you can see how beautifully that would work. Oh, I love it. I just want to stay here all day and play with this. But obviously I've got more fabrics to show you, so I can't. So I'm going to just leave these on one side at the moment. I adore these. So that is our first white on white that we've got today. I've completely forgotten how to fold fabric now. There we go. So that's the first one. So this one is called Rambling Ramblings on ivory. Ramblings in ivory. So you'll be able to see. Ivy. Look at that. You can just see how beautiful that is. It's really hard to show you white on white fabric. There we go. That shows beautifully there. You can just see it. Really, really lovely. It also shows I need a manicure. Look how beautiful that is. And what I love about this, this is one of those ones that you could actually do if you wanted to do free motion embroidery. This is the type of pattern that you could do, free motion quilting on that. So this is the ramblings in ivory. The cut. Look how much you're getting of this as well. So just to remind you how much you're getting. So these are brand new in today. $6.99 for the half meter. 
Really, really lovely, these. That's our second white on white. Then we have our third colorway here. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh gosh, that's very pretty. Look at that. It looks like um, little balls of knitting or balls of wool twirled in together. We're having a few, we're doing this the best we can. Maybe we'll get it on that one. White is really hard to show here, white on white. So thank you for bearing with us while we try and get the right shot for you. Oh, I think that's working. Look at that. There we go. Look at that. The detail on there is beautiful. It looks like little um, balls of wool. You know, when you get loads of balls of wool there, it looks beautiful. So these are the Rambling in Swirls fabric, half a meter there, also $6.99. That works really beautifully there. And the thing with this is white on white fabric is really hard to come by. And it is so beautiful. And it's really lovely to work with as well. And now we have a, cre a white on cream. This is beautiful as well. So this is called Holly Silhouette, Ramblings in Hol Holly Silhouette. Look at that. So this one does have a, I would call it a cream background. Um, it's not quite as dark as beige, but it is a cream background there. And you can just see how beautiful that is. If you are doing our block of the week, maybe this is something you want to look at. I hadn't thought of that. Look at that. That could be really pretty with the blossoms for the, uh, in a cream. Because also for backing fabrics, these are really, really good. Because you've got that delicate detail of the white and that beautiful cream on the background as well. It's a lovely, lovely backing fabric, this. Then you can just let the quilting stand out on its own as well. Lovely, lovely colorway there. And if you are thinking about the block of the week, this is obviously a little bit more expensive than the other options, but that detailing could be really very special. Even any of the white on whites, that could be really lovely. Mm. It's a good thing about our one day P&P, three pounds of 95 all day. It doesn't matter how many times you buy through the day, you can buy as many as you like, and you can change your mind and go and get something else. Which one are we starting with, the crosshatch? Perfect. These are brand new in today. I love brand new. And we've got Susan in to give me a hand with making sure how we can demonstrate this. Um, hopefully we can get it all done on here. Hello Susan, morning. I'm gonna put that in there and hopefully we'll get another one here. Now look at this. 108 inches wide. $8.99 for a half meter. Look how much fabric you're getting. Love that. So half a meter of this by uh, 108 inches. What's that, 274? I think it's 274 centimeters long. I don't do metric, I do imperial. So this is 108 inches wide by 19 inches. $8.99 there. Look how much beautiful fabric you're getting here. These are fabulous as backing fabrics. Really great quality. They feel lovely. And what I love about them is they've got this really lovely design on them. It's not just a plain cream. It's just a sand. This one's called sand. But it does come with a little bit of an echo in there. What's easier? See what I mean? It's got that wonderful little echo in there. And it's, you know, when you could pick up a beautiful stone on the beach and it's got that mottle in the stone, it's really lovely. Love that. Then we've got the shadows. Um, I forgot what the name of the fabric was then. I was just reading it as well. Sorry about that. Hello, Susan. Sorry. Mm -hmm. 
this is very, uh, this just feels really expensive. I love this. So this is the Shadows Black Extra Wide Backing Fabric. $8.99 for a half meter. Again, these are 108 inches wide. Lovely, lovely design on this as well. I'll show you exactly what you're looking at in the pattern. Because you can see it from the distance there. It's, a, it's got that mottled effect to it, but I'll show you again a bit closer up over here. And you can see it's just got that wonderful little shadow background in there. Not sure where, if I move those. There we go, you can see that. There. Oh. Love that. So these are brand new in today, and I love it when we get brand new backing fabrics in because everybody always needs backings, and we've all been doing loads of projects at the moment, um, and you've got loads of quilts left to finish off. Now you've got the perfect backing fabrics with. Now we've got this in red. I think it's called red. 108 inches wide again by a half meter. Yours won't have a little silver uh, sticker in the middle of it. We do that just for our own purposes. <laughs> really lovely there. And you can see that wonderful mottled um, fabric design there as well in the background there. It's a really beautiful pattern and very, very simple, but very effective. And you know we've got Christmas in July. Backs of your quilts. Oh, I haven't shown you the fabric close up, sorry. That is beautiful. You can see that beautiful mottle there beautifully. Brilliant, $8.99 for that today. Oh, look at this gray. Oh, it's called white and gray. That is lovely. Oh, I think this is my favorite. It almost looks white, but it is grey, and they've got a really beautiful, beautiful grey on this. Love this. So brand new in today, extra wide backing fabric, $8.99. Really love this. Oh, I wonder if people are doing the block of the week and they're doing their black backgrounds. <gasps> Maybe you want to look at doing the black background in that extra wide backing. That could be really nice as doing your um, your background in that mottled grey, in that mottled black. That would be beautiful. Ooh. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? We had this in a darker grey, but we've now got this in a lighter grey. The darker grey sold out really, really quickly. But you can see how beautiful that is. And I'm just wondering... I don't have my block of the week here, but I'm thinking these would be really good as backgrounds for that. And I've completely forgot how to fold things, so apologies. It's going like there. Because you get so much fabric with these. These are 108 inches wide by half a meter. So you can easily then um, use these for a number of different projects. These are fab. This is a really nice green. Couldn't itchy nose, sorry. <laughs> Look at that gorgeous green. It's really hard when everybody's watching you and you've got an itchy nose, sorry about that. But I have used the back of my hand, I promise. Look at this gorgeous green. Susan, thank you. Oh, we've got three more to go, not just you. Not just finished just yet. So this is our lovely green, and I'm not folding this correctly again. Really beautiful grassy green there. Very, very rich as well. Love that. 
There we go, half meter of that, $8.99 as well. Brand new today, we've got our five different colors of that with a sand collection there. Yes, of course, which one would you like? Perfect. So we're gonna start with this beautiful, beautiful blue. So this is called By the Sea in Deep Sea Blue. Half a meter. That is lovely. These are only, how many? Gosh, we only have seven and a half meters of this. So if you do like it, there aren't that many left of these. 5 99 for the half meter. So do make sure you pop that in your basket. Only seven and a half meters of these. Not a lot of stock left. So do check those out. Really lovely that. So next we've got, oh, I love these little seashells. Look at these. Look at these. Oh, I love them. These are also by the sea, by Nutex. Oh my gosh, look at the colors in these shells. They're just so beautiful. And they're so vivid as well. Because sometimes when you buy fabrics, they don't have that really great deep depth of quality and a clarity of what it is that you're actually looking at. But just look at the detail around that shell. And the starfish, that you know, that starfish in itself has got so much detail. And I think the one that it shows the most on is this little clam, just there. Look at that little clam. Just the detailing on it there, which I love. You're able to see like this little shell over here. Look at the detailing on it. And to give you an idea, that's my fingernail there, how tiny these are, but they've kept that detailing absolutely beautiful. But I have to say, I think that one might be my favorite shell. Oh, actually, you know what, you're right. Cat, that's Cat's favorite shell, and I have to say of them, I actually think that's pretty. That one's just got gorgeous detailing on it. So these are just beautiful. These are now $5.99 for a half meter today. Really lovely. So next we've, ooh. This is called Osnaberg. Oh my goodness, we've got Osnaberg back in. We can't keep this in. So this is your Osnaberg by the half meter. Gorgeous, natural seeded cotton Osnaberg. Two pounds 50 for a half meter of this gorgeous Osnaberg. Really beautiful quality there. It feels beautiful. And you've got that gorgeous detailing on it. It's like a vanilla ice cream with proper vanilla pods. Absolutely gorgeous that. Two pounds fifty by the half meter for this. Really, really lovely. We've had these on, so when we had, I've had these, I've never used any form of dressmaking fabric, but one of the people, I cannot remember who it was, it might have been, oh, I can't remember now. One of the ladies came on, and I, forgive me, I got your name, I've forgotten the name, but she then makes all her twills out of these, and she's been able to get a beautiful drape on them to be able to test all the patterns. Um, and she says that the quality of these was so good, and the price was so good, it was actually cheaper for her to do this than to use normal fabrics, which I thought was a beautiful way of doing it. And because she then dyes them and actually then be able to wear their outfit afterwards as well. I think it's just absolutely beautiful, and it's got such a lovely feel to it. And if you're doing any form of tie dyeing or anything like that, this is the perfect way of being able to do that. It just takes the dyes really, really well. Um, Love these, and at two pounds 50 for a half meter, can't go wrong with that. See, I wonder if you couldn't do any form of embroidery with this, because it does have that linen feel to it. And when Jane, um, Greenoff was in, she was she only used linen. And I'm wondering whether this wouldn't work. I don't know. You can always try it. It's such a great price for that. £2.50 for the half meter. Give it a go. It's worth having a try. 
That's the Osnaberg there, £2.50 for the half metre. Next, we've got these beautiful, beautiful roses. Look at these. So these bright roses on grey by Nutex. Look at those. They are so pretty. They really, really are. Now, most of you know I adore my stack and wax, so I'm just working out what the repeat on this is. Seven and three quarter inches. Let me double check that. Seven and three quarter inches. If you did want to do a stack and wax, you would be needing eight repeats. That's one, two, three repeats and a half meter. So you'd need a meter and a half if you were going to do a stack and wax out of that. Can you tell I'm about to buy some of this and do a stack and whack out of it? Can you tell? That is beautiful. It's such beautiful combination of reds and pinks in here as well. And even the greens on the leaves come in so beautifully as well. It's such a lovely, lovely fabric that. See, I'm always looking ahead. Look at that. That is perfect. That is such a perfect colour match. Because you see, backing fabrics, is, oh, people always just assume they're for backings. But can you imagine that red? I'm going to just put a bigger piece of the red out. So imagine that's your bag, and then you've got your little pop of detail with the, with the, the, the roses. That would be beautiful. You can just see there, if I did that, you can see just having the red with that pop there. It works very, very well, and this colour is beautiful there. I'm wondering, I'm wondering, I'm wondering. Don't go anywhere. See, I actually think the green it would work better with. You can see just if you were just doing a trim, if you're just doing a trim of detail on the, on the roses, that would work beautifully as well. Love that. Now also when you're doing a stack and whack, you do need some coordinating fabrics to do those corners. I would get an extra half meter. I've put the backing fabrics out of order now, sorry. Remind me if I'm showing them again. So you'll need a half meter of that if you're going to do a stack and whack, half meter of the green on the uh, red if you're going to do some corners and sashings as well. Really beautiful fabric that. And you can tell I will have a stack and whack out of that one. Next we've got, oh my gosh, I love these. These are so lovely. This lily is beautiful. These are called lily scatter. Oh no, elegant lilies in green. Look at that. The detailing on these is incredible. Look at that. Look at these different ones, they're so beautiful. Love that. And the great thing is you've got the detailing of the lines as well. It just creates an extra image on it. Love these. But the colours, you see the shading in this one here. We've got all the different greens coming in so subtly and so beautifully. And then you've got the shadow over there as well, really good. See, I'm mixing these up. See, the black works quite... I think the black might be a bit strong, actually. What about that grey? That looks really good. We see, what I love now is none of us can get to the shops. We can't go and touch fabric. We can't put things next to each other. That's it. We've got it. We've combined it. That's it. That's our colorway. We've decided we love the sand with the elegant uh, lilies on green. I love that. I think that works. Because you see, the great thing with the sand is it pops out the stamen there absolutely perfectly. That is so beautiful. Love that. You can see the grey, it's, mm, it, it's okay, it doesn't really pop, but look at that. That really, really pops beautifully on there. I hope you don't mind me just putting colours on top of it. It's what we all do when we go to the fabric shop, so we'll try and do it there for you there. And then the last colourway we've got in this in this uh, collection here, oh, this lily, oh, it's beautiful. 
So this is called Single Lilies, and I'll pop the Elegant Lily next to it. So you can see this was the Elegant Lily that we had just previously. So this is the Single Lily because they're all individual and they're almost just on their own. It'll take, oh my goodness, that's very cleverly designed going all the way up. You can see that that's got the stem all the way down into the next flower that colors, uh, covers it down. Very clever design on it. But again, you've got this wonderful eye for detail, gorgeous, gorgeous colorways. See, I wonder if you put the black in, whether that would work for this. I think this one might work better with the black because you've got more black in the background. Maybe not. I still think the sand is the one to go. Yep, the sand pops really well. The warmth of the stamen works very, very well with that, doesn't it? So these backing fabrics are not just for backings. You can use them for virtually every fabric, just depending which color you like. Love that. Next, we're going to look at this wonderful combination of mixes. <gasps> Ooh, look at these gorgeous colors. I just show you these in a little bundle here. Look at those. Love that. Look at those. Oh, I've got a thread. Look at those. The great thing is they've got this wonderful, you know when you tie dye fabric and they just do that wonderful little texture on it, it's great. So this is the, this is the chartreuse, oh, mix of color here, this is a half meter of this for $3.99. Loving that. You can see it's got a similar texture to the extra wide. Oh, that doesn't show quite as well. But it's not quite the same. This has got a much more pronounced mottle, for the want of a better word. It's a lovely green, this as well. We call this the chartreuse cotton mix of fabric. Half meter of that, $3.99. Let me show you how big the half meter is. So that's how big your half meter is. You see, and the reason we call these a mixer is this works very, very well with the ordinary fabric that you'd have in your stash, ready to go and use. And you just need that slight change to the color maybe, or just a slight difference on it. And you can see as well, this hasn't come on yet, but I'm just going to do that. Mm, maybe not quite the same. See, that's why we do it. And you can see if it works, works, doesn't work, we can tell you then. Then we've got this lovely red color. Have we called it red? Claret. Oh, excuse me. Loving that red. And you can see that beautiful mottle on there. Such a gorgeous color, this red, though. It does look like it's got a little orange undertone to it, doesn't it? But it just, it isn't orange. It's just that beautiful, beautiful red and that, oh, it's beautiful. Really lovely, that. It does look like clouds. I'm looking at this and thinking it does look like, you know, when they get that bottom of a cloud, I think the, the cloud effect shows better on the blue. when I'm driving in at 3 2 3 45 in the morning and I leave I get to see the sunrise and the colors you see in those clouds are bright oranges the other morning it was a really bright red it reminded me of that now this one's called denim but there you can see what I mean about that beautiful cloud effect can't you blue sky beautiful there love that so that's the denim cotton mixer there fabric half a meter 3.99 for that one Loving that. Oh, 
Oh, we've got our make of the week today. forgot about make of the week every single week vicky myself and debbie we go and take all the pictures off the fans page and we scour through them and i tell you now i had six choices this week it was really 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 hard to try and get the, the one i thought was the best you're all so talented and it's lovely to see all your pictures and your makes so thank you for sharing them keep doing that and every week vicky myself and debbie pick the make of the week that we like the best and it doesn't mean that this is the best it's just the one that we like the best that week and then you're all going to win free postage and packaging if you win that week. So this is our lilac cotton mixer, a half a meter. $3.99 for that. And you can see that wonderful mottle in there as well. It's really pretty. That's the lilac cotton fabric mixer there. And then we've got magenta. Oh, I like that. Oh, love that. Very pretty. So this is the magenta cotton mixer fabric, half meter for $3.99. Such a great price for these. They're really good. And then we've got our, our blue, oh, is this royal blue? Royal blue. That is beautiful. So vibrant that. Ooh, I'm quite liking that. But you know, with block of the week, maybe you want to do it in blue. Because this, you only need two and a half meters of the block of the weeks. This could work very, very well. Really beautiful color, this. And then very last but not least, this is brand new today, this colorway. Oh, I love this. This is very pretty. And this is called Peacock Cotton Mixer Fabric, half meter, $3.99. But look how beautiful that is. I'm going to put the royal blue next to it so you can see. And then the other colorway we had, what was this other one? denim so you can see the difference between the three colors there you've got the peacock here the the royal blue this one and then the denim colorway there you can see they work really really well but they are very different can you imagine just doing a quilt out of these colors you know i don't know whether some of you saw me doing the gemology book a couple of weeks ago and um, that book calls for uh, different colors of um uh, different shades of colors and doing these mottled colors that would look really interesting with the way the colors change in here doing a dark medium and a light out of those that would be really pretty so that's our peacock cotton there half a meter for $3.99 and then we've got our fabulous extra wide backings Susan only three more to go darling almost finished then she can have a little break for the weekend We've got our gorgeous crosshatch here. Have we called this color green? This is the green crosshatch. Now remember our extra wide backings are 108 inches. Goes all the way across our set. 108 inches by half a meter, which is 280 centimeters by half a meter there. 8.99. And the design on here has got this gorgeous, gorgeous cross on there. And it's, um, it's not a, a consistent, cross hatch you can see it's got that really nice little adjustment to it so your eyes don't go wonky when you're looking at something that's completely linear but that's got that beautiful beautiful design on there i love that beautiful beautiful colorway and a really lovely pretty design on there as well again 8.99 for the half meter there 
and it doesn't have to be for backings. We just call them backings because most quilts uh, do need extra wide backings, but they can be used for everything. The fabric is 100% cotton, really, really user friendly, and it feels so lovely as well. So that's our green. Next, we've got our red colorway. And again, don't forget, we've got Christmas in July at the end of the month. I'm very excited about that. I get to work two days over the Christmas period. Really looking forward to that. So there's your Crossroads extra wide backing in red. Look at that, really lovely. And again, the design on here is really pretty. It's a very nice cross hatch there, quite irregular, really beautiful. Lovely, lovely fabric there. Wonderful, so those are our two colorways there. And last but certainly not least is our aqua colorway. This one is really pretty. Of the three, I think this is my favorite, simply because it's blue. Look at that. And I think the contrast there is quite clear and you can see the different colorways there and how it works. 280 centimeters there by half a meter. Really love that. Oh, I'm actually thinking. Oh, hang on, hang on. Bear with, bear with. What about? What about that? That really works very, very well there. This backing fabric with that shell fabric that we had on a few moments ago, that would go really beautifully. Because I think as well, a lot of people, imagine this is a lining for a bag with that as the details. That would pop really beautifully. This was the shell fabric we had on earlier. Love that. Oh, we've had an email in from Sharon. Hello, Sharon. Lovely to have you. Thank you for watching. Oh, she's asking if we can redo the white on white fabric. So with pleasure. Now, when these are on the website, just remember that they are going to be on there with some black outlining. Um, that's quite simply because we're wanting to show you what the white on white looks like. Forgive me, I just have to have a sip of water. Talking for four hours nonstop takes your breath away sometimes. So I think if I do one layer, we should get a really good, there you go, you can see it even there, look how beautiful that is. So these ramblings on oak leaves fabric, this is the rambling, oh, is this the oak leaves? My mistake, it is indeed. So this is the rambling in oak leaves fabric there, half a meter, $6.99. You can just see it's an absolutely beautiful, delicate fabric that, really, really pretty. Then we have, oh, have I turned this upside down? I have. Then we've got the ivy. If I do that, and I do that. That is so pretty, isn't it? So delicate. If you are looking to join our block of the week today, you might be wanting to consider this as your background fabric. Look how pretty that would be. Especially if you're doing the blossom combination, that would be really beautiful as your background white on white, wouldn't it? Love that. And then we have our white on white swirls. Oh, that looks really pretty, doesn't it? We're just gonna come and do a little bit of a zoom. You hear the pitter patter of birthday girl's feet? Look at that. Love 
love that. And then last but not least, Sharon, I hope you've enjoyed seeing these again. I know I have. You've got this wonderful ivy fabric here. No, Holly, not ivy. Look at that. You can see the detailing on there is so pretty. Again, if you're looking at block of the week, this might be a nice one as a background fabric for you. So lots and lots of different options here. Really, really lovely. Now, I do think our star of the show has to be, forgive me, I've got all my Aurifil everywhere. I was plagued with the Aurifil earlier showing it on there. We've got this gorgeous, gorgeous Aurifil collection here. The Quilters collection is completely exclusive, brand new to Sewing Street today. So this is the Quilters collection here. Um, and you've got 10 different spools. Each one of the spools has 200 meters of thread. They are 50 weight. Each of them made 100% cotton. Beautiful, beautiful thread. Now you can see, I can tug on it. It's not gonna break. Really, really strong 50 weight fabric, uh, 50 weight thread. Really good as well for hand piecing. Mainly people use this for normal machine piecing. If you're doing any form of really dense quilting, this is very, very good for that. Any form of embroidery, really good for embroidery as well. Um, and the quilting doesn't need to be dense quilting either, just normal quilting. This works beautifully for that. Love these. And then you've got this gorgeous collection of colors. Quite an autumnal range as well, which I think is very, very pretty. Really, really good and very user friendly. Now those are my top five colors that I use for my quilting. Um, and you can tell why, they just shine so beautifully there. The sheen on them is so beautiful. The sheen is so beautiful. We've got our beautiful brown there as well. It wasn't called brown, I can't remember what it was called. Do check the website because I know a lot of people who use Aurifil, all the color numbers and the codes are all online for you to be able to see. Then we've got our deep eggplant there as well. We've got our midnight. And then we've got the, um, that had a really interesting name, dark carmine red. Those are the 10 colors that you're getting, 200 meters in each one. So that's 2000 meters of 100% cotton, 50 weight Aurifil thread, all from Milan, absolutely beautiful, love those. So do check those out as well. Now I mentioned earlier, make of the week, we've got three incredible winners this week. These winners are Hilary, Le Hilary Jean Lawrenson, Alison, Alice Atkinson and Jennifer Quinn. These makes were really special today. So we first got Hilary Jean Lawrenson. Look at that, isn't that adorable? And then we got Alice Atkinson. So pretty, wonderful, wonderful project there. And then Jennifer Quinn, look at that gorgeous dress. Love that. Congratulations all of you. Do message us in on our Facebook page, Sewing Street TV, and we'll be able to send you your code for your free postage and packaging on your next order. Congratulations. Next, we've got a menu of what's on tomorrow. You've got me again tomorrow. We've got the Tilda Campervan cushions with Delphine in the morning at eight o'clock. Quilting tools at nine. And then we've got the Dragon Quest and Up and Away quilts with Delphine again. Oh, that'd be lovely. And then some fabulous fabrics at 11 o'clock. Followed up at midday with our tea cozy set that we had this morning at eight o'clock with Alison Marion. What a gorgeous, gorgeous show today. I'm so, so happy to have you all here today. Thank you all so much for your time. Stay tuned and we look forward to having you tomorrow morning. Have a great day. Keep well. Bye-bye.